One, two, three. Oh, we're getting good at this. <clears throat> I feel very grumpy today. So. Oh, good. Good. <clears throat> so, would you like? Am to I in shot? Would you like to introduce the show, Ben? Am I in shot? Yes, you're fine. I was thinking from the the last episode. I've I've not edited any of them. What episode's this? Three. No, I don't think it is. And four. Oh, oh <laughs> God. I don't know what they sound like. I don't know how I look. It's tree. Is it? Yeah. I was thinking that the yeah, the last episode, whatever, three or four, four, I think, four. Oh. I was in a vest. I've got another vest on today. But this vest does make sense. I was wearing the other vest on the last episode just for a, a bit of silliness. This makes sense, this vest. Okay. I was thinking that maybe we'll have to bring the camera back or get a wider lens to try and, you know, make sure that fits in. Introduce the show, Ben. You know what I mean? Introduce the show. I say that quite a lot as well. Introduce the show. I say, I say something. No, hang on. I saw, I, I say something and go, you know what I mean? Most stuff I say, I then end it with, do you know what I mean? No, I fucking I've don't. noticed that during the editing. I've I said, have no oh, clue well, what you're talking that's about. That's why I keep asking. To be honest. I'll just agree to disagree with but you. But the, the, I'm not sure about the camera this week. It looks a bit, the shot looks a bit odd. The you're lighting. making me feel cold. The lighting's a bit, it's quite bright out there. Annoyingly, so the lighting's a bit boring this week. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Ah, oh, you forgot to put the greens on. No, I haven't got the warm one, have I? Oh. 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 Baby, when the lights Is go better? out. Do people like the warmness to it? I don't think it really fucking matters, does it? The film's about photos, Fiona. It's about photos and all that stuff. So you want to get the shot right. Uh-huh. Two and a half minutes. Yeah. Just talked about nothing. And you haven't even introduced the show yet, Ben. Push for half. Yeah. <laughs> push for half. Okay. Yeah. What about I don't want health? to start the episodes with what I did on the last podcast we did. Remember when I used to go, let's just get it done. Let's just finish. I hate this. I just spat at you. Scum. Let's just get it done. I hate it. That's, oh. Ben, you're going to start the I episode to... highly stressed because you always are stressed when you're starting the episode. So all you have to do is say, hello, welcome to Push Pull Health. You don't need to rant and rave for two and a half minutes about if you're in the shot. Welcome to Pushful Health. What do we do here at Pushful Health? Pushing your health from the poles of life. Oh. It's got an itch. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Nice. He's got no t-shirt on today either. Nice. That's what we're doing. Embrace your rotten attitude to exercise and nutrition. Yes. I do have a very bad attitude towards it, I must admit. CTA. Must start the show with the CTA straight away. CTA. That's wobbling again. Annoying. That's because you're animated. You're doing some neat over there. <laughs> Talked about that last mm-hmm. week, didn't we? Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. Good. That that segues nicely onto what we didn't talk about on the last episode. Just before we get there, though, let me just finish what I'm trying to say. I don't want to start the episodes with, oh, let's just get this done. Uh, that's what I used to do on the, on the last one. The Which last one? podcast. <laughs> the last one. And I'm meant to be, I'm meant to enjoy this. It's meant to be a passion. To be passionate about pushing people's health from the pools of life. Mm-hmm. And here I am again, just like, oh, let's get it done quick. I don't want to be here. But you do. You're mad to be here. Yes. It's all I you know. talk about all week long uh, well, is this. And then when you, it's all you talk about, Ben. Well, when you've got fans waiting for you to drop the, I'm a YouTuber. We've got 11 subscribers. What? Yeah. Who? As of recording, we have eleven. <laughs> we have eleven subscribers. Oh gosh! So I've got eleven people going. Uh, ben, when's you and that muscle going to drop the next episode? <laughs> Imminently. You're such a fucking twat. Oh, you're a dull. It's pressure. You're a dull. We've got eleven people watching. Yeah, well, you think you'd make a bit more of an effort with your fucking appearance? <sighs> the vest makes sense. We'll get to the it. hair. If you allow me to speak and get on with this episode, we'll get to why I'm wearing a vest again. Hey, you don't get on with the episode. That's your problem. Ooh, I, don't I just want this do. to be fun, but mm. it's a, it's a tough week. It's getting done on a Sunday. It is a tough week. It's a lot. It's long. When, well, long when, when weeks. Would, when would you pro- it's, oh, it's oh, frustrating. Oh. When would you propose we do this? It's hard, isn't it? But this is my job. This is my passion. When I was researching for the episode, when I was like, oh, I have to go through my notes, have a look at this, have a look at that. It's stressful because there's so many notes. But then, no, I'm, for me. I'm, I'm now, a, I'm, I'm full-time. I'm a full-time PT, of course, but that's different. The face-to-face stuff is different. This is online. Oh, it's cool. I'm now going to be dipping the toes into becoming an online coach as well. 
lots of stuff going on. What am I whinging about with the with the notes? It's it's a pleasure. I should enjoy it. It's part of the job. I'm a YouTuber. I'm an online coach. It's the rotten attitude. That's what it is. Mm. We all have one of them. So the, enough, it's the right brought, attitude. I have to. I have to embrace it. So I brought I'm, it to the podcast oh. today. Oh. All right. Okay. Okay. How's your lips? Are you licking them? Fine. Fine. And then I get stressed, and then I, the lips. cameras seems to be a bit high, and the cameras just fine. double checking the lights yeah, look, on. Yeah, they can see that I'm playing footsie with you. So it's fine. Not sure, what's going on with this? So what we didn't talk about in the last episode to remind you? Calories. No, we did talk about calories, but we didn't talk about. We talked about everything that makes up your daily calories, but they didn't give examples. So we talked about knee and eat and TEF and what's the other stuff, BMR. What do you mean examples We of didn't calories? talk about total daily, total daily energy expenditure. <laughs> so everything that they all make up, then they all make up all the calories. So all those components make up all the calories you burn throughout the day. Yeah. T-D-E-E. Well, what do you I... talk about that? What do you give an example? So an example for me, for example. <laughs> How many examples can you get in there? Just, just look at the muscle. Just it's what's coming really, out of the mouth is just. There's it, not really it, much. Long there. week, long week. I actually look a lot better. I feel. I feel like I've filled out the last couple of weeks. Yeah, when I've we noticed, did the, you're getting a little kangaroo pouch. Interesting. interesting. No more than myself. <laughs> Glad you said that. Yeah. I feel like we should redo the no the photo shoot because I feel like I filled out a bit more. I feel like the muscle is is okay. starting to. Attach yourself back to the body. Does that mean I get to put you a fake tan on and some tattoos on you? Well, that's... It's, we still haven't released the oh. photo shoot. God, I wanna, um, oh, no, we'll get to that in the film. We'll, we'll get to that. Maybe you should get your hair cut first. I try to get my hair cut this week. If, if try all, all 11 subscribers, hi. If you're probably aware now that I need a haircut, I've needed a haircut from the start of this and I still haven't. I tried this week. I tried. I keep wanting to look at the camera. I tried this week. I rang Jace, my hairdresser. Booked out, rang again, on fucking holiday. Oh, it's, it's warm. I, I feel like YouTube really there is punishes plenty. you for swearing. There is plenty of hairdressers and barbers. I've got my hairdresser. Oh, okay. okay. Your hairdresser, your barber. He's fully babe. booked, so people are aware of how good Jace is. And then he's on holiday. Uh, thanks for telling me, Jace. So when's he back? I'm on camera at least once a week. When's Have you seen this? Oh, when's he back? Next week. So maybe in time for episode it. four or five, it'll be trimmed. In time for Easter, that'd be around Easter, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, it's called Friday on Friday. It's been colder. Right, anyway, come on. Nine minutes in. Yeah. Yeah, so I tried. I tried to tilt this barn out. Nine minutes in, so move on. What are we talking about? I have no idea. Calories, teff or teat or something. Oh, Jesus Christ. God, why do we get so distracted? <laughs> Quite warm in here now. They've, it's they've, fucking freezing. They've warmed up. It's because you're so stressed. So an example of me, if we're if we're putting all that together, the BMR, the TEF, the eat, the neat, an example calories for me for myself. Mm, that's better. So if we take all that in, if we take in my activity levels, so with the calculator, the calculator, I've got my calculator. Everyone's got a calculator. I don't. Every online coach got a calculator. They just Sweet. maybe put their name on it and go, "Hold oh, on, it's my calculator." Yes, we've all got one. Hold on. Okay. So what did you? I'll make sure I say? link the calculator okay, what in you... the notes your... so you can work out your. Sorry. Your calculator. My calculator. Yes. Okay. I have my mm. logo. Oh, nice. Anyways, I'll on. link that in, and then you can work it out. So you put your your age, your height, your current weight in, and then you put your activity levels in. How much are you moving? How many steps are you doing per day? How much 10, exercise 000. are you doing? That figures it out. There's, there's an equation. It times it by. You, you'll see. And then you'll get your calories. My calculator, I've gone the extra step. You've got your maintenance. Calories where you will stay the same. Mm -hmm. Eat these. Eat these calories. You will stay the same. Based on your current body weight. Judging by your pouch, I'm assuming that you're going over Not that. quite a pouch. I don't think there's a pouch. Oh. I could take my top off now and be like... I'm going to dig it off, Ben. Come on, enlighten us. Well, half it's out already. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Go on. What's your calorie intake, Just, then? Maintenance, maintenance, yes. Deficit. And then I've got, if you want to get surplus. into a surplus or you want to get into a deficit. Remember deficit? Oh, we yes. lose, trying to lose weight. Surplus, yeah. we're trying to put on the weight, put on the muscle. The guns. Yeah. That's shaking. That's annoying. Is it in Because properly? you're moving. Is it in? Oh, well. 
So for me, maintenance, <laughs> maintenance, I, I don't even hear what you said. Maintenance is around, God, I thought I'd muted my channel. Maintenance <laughs> is around, for me, is about 3,200. Maintenance. That's correct. Um, I don't know if you know, but the more muscle you, you've got, the more calories you burn. It takes quite a lot to carry this around. I wish I was joking. I'm not. <laughs> Science. I actually can't take you seriously right it's now. Science, Fio, You're it's science, Fiona. It's science. So that? I'm just, so I'm, I'm quite, I'm quite active. You know, I'm doing ten k steps per day on average. I'm, I'm moving. I've got the standing, the desk treadmill. I'm, I'm shifting, baby. Uh-huh. I don't go outside very often. I like it. It's horrible. I just <laughs> stay in here. I just go to and from the, the house and yeah. train my lovely clients in the Pushable Health private studio. That's it. And try and put wank videos online to try and start dipping into the online coaching. Okay, so if you're in a surplus, how many calories? So 3,200. Yep. So that's that's me exercising, say, five times a week in the gym and that's on average 10K steps. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot, but it's, you know, it's, it's, it's my life. I've got muscles to maintain. Can I just interrupt really quickly? 3,200 maintenance. So if I want to get into a deficit, I, I suggest, let me finish. Let me finish. I suggest 10%. Let's go for 10%. Let's not go crazy. 320. Yes. So <laughs> yes, so let's start at 10%. So I'd start at 10%. That's where I'd start if I wanted to start losing weight or then I'd add, again, yeah, 10% max if you want to start putting on more muscle. I don't know how much more I can put on, but I'm sure I could. Oh, you're a good, obnoxious prick. You really are. You really, P- really are. Uh, pigeons. No way to be fed. That's not. Uh, so, yeah, so that's, look at the calculator. Start at 10% max. You don't want to put on weight too much and you don't want, you don't want to lose weight too quickly. Uh, most of you will be very tempted. Start at ten percent. Start there. Do that for a couple of weeks. If you're trying to put on weight. See where you are. If you're trying to lose weight. See where the scales are. Go from there. What do little and like me do? If you're using the scales, that is, that's a different topic. We'll probably get into that. We don't want to use the scales. We hate the scales. Some people can get on with the scales. It depends if it's psychologically damaging using the scales. So it we'll, is. We'll, we'll start touching upon that if we just get a move on. Yep. What okay. were you saying, Fiona? Blows. I'm just gonna. Have a- I can't remember. Sorry, I have a sip of water. I, 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 it's one of those things where I've always been very pinnickly about well, what water. What are you saying, Fiona? And... Okay, I'm going to talk with the next Oh, sorry. Minute. Sorry, please. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say, Ben. We're so... 30 minutes in. We need to get, yeah, we need to we, get a yeah, fucking shift. Yeah, we absolutely shift. do. Right, what's this episode about today, then? I feel like something's not on. Oh, okay. I feel like I'm not recording. I feel like that's not on. I feel like... I've been a bit more chilled out this morning and that, that, Have that you? that's, well, I was before you came in and then I had to get you in shot and then the camera seems a bit high and then that's where I start getting stressed. Oh, okay. What were you saying? Is Sorry. your microphone plugged in? Oh yeah, it is. <sighs> See, I can hear you. <laughs> oh. oh my God. My heart just fucking hit the floor. You asshole. <laughs> Because I was looking for the little wires coming out of it. How could there's no wires Yes, in it's plugged in. Yes. I plug mine in unlike you. Mine's in. You do yeah, it Yeah, because I plugged it in. Yeah. I'm not doing it. Yeah. Right, anyways, what's today's episode about? Or is there any, is you want to spend well, two hours on di- something else? Again, dipping the toes. The psychology of dieting. You have to be very careful because there's lots of components. We don't want to have this as an, an hour long. Well, it probably will be an hour long, but two hour long episode. Just Probably dipping the be. toes. We've got the film. We've got the the red around the world and AI. We've got lots. Have you got true crime this week? Just remembered that. Oh fucking hell! There's you've only got one. Th- th- you've only got one th- thing to do. There's been lots of voice nods this week, though. I've got in the notes on YouTube that there's true crime. So that means that I'm now I'm now one of those people that puts on oh expect it you know clickbaiting. I'm going to be known as a clickbaiter. You on that, do you? Well, I think it's too much of a. What's the word? I can't, don't know what the word is. Too much of an expectation for me to do one per week. I think it should be once one, <laughs> one you, per month. Fiona, I listen to about three podcast episodes a day. Well, that's because you're you. A day. Ben, I'm working from eight till seven with my headphones in all day long. Oh, oh sorry. I'm up at I five. Don't want, I don't want to I'm listen up at five. to stuff. I don't see you at five. I just want to talk into my phone and tell my friends how my day's been. Interesting. That's it. Thank you. Or well, maybe like me, start getting up at five and then maybe you can fit in a I true will be. Co- um, how many steps you getting in? How many steps you getting in? 13,000. Okay. You can't put a true crime on? 1.5 speed? No, because I've got friends to talk to. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, okay. oh, I don't have any friends. So that's... <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's where you fall down, Ben. They're my friends. Okay. So maybe next time then, let's get one in. I'll try. It's just one. It's part of the show. Okay, I'll try. Have you got your recipe? Just remember that as well. 
You can't just spring these things on me, Ben. Sweet potato chippies. There you go. Pull that out Okay, of my right. So this is a reminder. True crime recipe. Yeah. I've but, got these in the notes. Yep, yeah, but remind me to do We're link. I'll put, I'll put the links in. So the links will be in the notes. Okay, just remind me, Ben. So of an episode. Before I go out for my little fine. walk tomorrow morning, yes. say to me, Fiona, yes. would you mind putting on a little podcast for me so we can talk about it on Sunday? Right. Yes, darling. No problem. But what I will do, I will leave your recommendation in the notes. You may not have listened to it, but you will go away and listen to it and then I will put it in the notes of this episode and then also the, the recipe. The Moore's Murders is a very good one. Okay. Actually. I listened to right, that when I'll I was travelling. Listen to that one when I was travelling. Right. Very, very good. I think it's four, three or four of them um, all separated out. Very, very good. Very okay. good, actually. That's good. Very interesting. I'll put those in then. Yes. And there's, there's actually quite a good few. And the recipe, I'll put that in as well. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The psychology of the, yes, of, of dieting. Yes. Just... The components, I think you've got a couple of questions there, Fiona, that I can, maybe me and the muscles can answer. Let's get on with this. This is this is really dragging. At right. the start, I've got, I've, the, the first line actually, I've got, I don't know why. Maybe I was talking to someone about it. Oh, the suspense. Treating, it, treating a diet as a holiday. The idea of, of you've got a, you know, a finite amount of time. Or someone just diets for eight weeks or 12 weeks or, or whatever. Right. And then after that, it's like, oh, great, I've done it. Yeah, and I've learnt nothing. Mm-hmm. Nothing's been learnt, well, and then they just go go back to their normal life, and then put the weight back on again. And it's just that. Well, that's the thing. It's always just like, right, I'm going to lose half a stone for the wedding. I'm going to lose half a stone for Christmas. I'm going to lose half a stone for the summer. It's always, it's always, it's always a time, time thing. It's a time goal, always. Yes, and, and it's not. What it's, have a, you it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle change, dieting, mm. and changing your habits, your bad habits into good habits. <clears throat> Excuse me. Goodness me. I, I've got that about the seasons, actually. So ideally, hands are there. Look at my hand. mm, good name. Ideally, you you want to get to your maintenance calories, or not maintenance calories as such. You want to get to a weight or or a look that you're happy with, that you you feel pretty good, and then you know maybe you can trim down a little bit here and there. But you want you want to maintain that weight for your life, basically, and then just have deviations. Go on holiday. My God, you're going to go up a bit. You're on your breakfast buffet. You're going to enjoy yourself. Mm. A bit of cocktails at the, at the beach. Yeah. All that yes, sort of stuff. Yes. Going to go up. Yeah. Weight's going to go up. I'm sure if you come back from holiday and you haven't put on weight, you've, you've probably not had a very good holiday, have you? Probably not. Right. Or you could have had a great oh. holiday and done lots and lots of steps. Well, and lost weight. Yeah. Yeah. Potentially. But you do yeah. indulge in no, a I think, more. No, I think you can. Yeah. I think that's if you can go on holiday and you can get some steps in and you can do, you can do something. You have to hit the gym, but. You get up in the morning, maybe go for a walk or have the breakfast buffet, go for a walk after before you then hit the, the sunbed. Those videos of those people running out to claim their sunbeds. Oh, <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. It's sick. I knew you were going to say that. But I, I, do, I see it. It's a challenge to get the sun. Mm. We spent 12 months and for whatever reason, it was a pain in the ass just trying to get the sun. You're pasty. I had some sun. Annoying. Yeah. Should have just stayed in better hotels. Well, we did. Yep. Okay. So, I'm yes, in, so, oh. sorry, sorry, oh. sorry. So, yes, holidays, Christmas, weddings, like you said, events. You go up a little bit in weight and then, right, okay, no problem. Some Enjoy days. yourself and then just bring yourself back down again. So, you, you know, realistically, you get to your body weight that you're you're happy with or, or the look that you're happy with, and then you just go up and down throughout the years, holidays, Christmas, and then you just, you just that's it. You, you know that you're, oh, I'm pretty happy at 12 stone. Oh, I'm 12 stone six. Oh, well, I just went on holiday. Yeah, maybe I'll just, you know, for the next month or so, go on like a little mini cut, little mini diet. I think for the vast majority of people, you don't really want to be in a diet for any longer than a month before you then have a, a, a break of sorts or before you then go back to maintenance for a couple of weeks. And then maybe if you want to diet a bit more, yes, go for another month. Most people aren't going to, aren't going to benefit from going on some sort of, some wacky 12 week diet or, or some six week blitz. It's not, no, don't do it. I'm never sure when to ask my questions because oh, you, you just continue going. Well, I going. get into it, Fiona. Very so knowledgeable. Anyway, Lots of up. stuff to say. <laughs> you said something that was very interesting. You said the <sighs> weight or the look. Could you elaborate on that a little bit more for me, actually? Do you want to feel better or do you want to look better? I want both. Right. So, but <laughs> yes, but looking better is... is... Well, that looking better because you'll, you'll, you'll feel better if you look better. 
and you know that and then yes. you'll, you'll have more confidence. Well, looking better will normally become a, will be a byproduct of feeling better. If you yes. feel better, that means that you're, you're exercising a bit more. You might have lost a little bit of weight. So naturally, you, you're probably going to look better as well. Yes. But people, are, they've got their way around, haven't they? They, they want to they wanna look better. So they go on these fad diets. They go on, on the blitz 10 kg in 30 days. And mm. yeah, they, on the surface, you go, oh yeah, oh yeah, you look, yeah, you're looking trimmer. You just dropped all your water weight and you're not eating for 30 days. Yeah. Do you feel better? But what happens when you eat an egg the next day? <laughs> when you eat, when Sorry? you eat back to normal the next day, the next week, you're just going to put all that weight back on. See? There's a study. Oh, I haven't, I haven't got it down. It's annoying. In Lane, Lane Norton's book, Fat Loss Forever. Very good book. Quite heavy on the science. So from, for, the, for the vast majority, probably a bit much. There was a study. It was done in rodents. You have to be careful with that. A lot of people talk about these studies. A lot, a lot of these charlatans online talking about all these studies. And a lot of the time they're done in rodents. Okay. At high doses. So they haven't actually been tested on humans. They go, look at this. It's killing you. And I was like, is that a human study? No, it's, it's done on rodents at high doses. Like, yeah, but they'd oh, be right, sued okay. if, they, if they did it on people. They'd be sued. No, but they're, they're saying all, all these results. They, they, they then don't go into the fact that it, they've just been done on rodents. Oh, right. Okay. And, they've, and they're like, oh my God, this is going to kill you. Mm. Don't do it. Okay. It was only done on rodents, but still. Okay, I understand. My feet are cold. What was I saying? The study. Oh, just about, about weight and about... Well, there's lots of studies, but just about the idea of people losing weight and then rebounding fast because they haven't really learned the mechanisms of actually losing weight. They've just lost weight quickly and not eat, eaten for eight weeks and great. And then they've tried to lose weight again, but at a slower rate. It all to do with stuff like fat cells and all that sort of stuff. But the second time they've tried to diet, they've lost weight, but they've had to reduce their calories further and quicker. And they've lost weight slower. And then they've rebounded four times as fast. I need to, I need to put the study in just just so I'm I'm getting the numbers correct. But basically, you, you, you get what I, I mean. I right? am. Yes. So they diet for the first time. It's great, you know. They rush through it. It's like oh god, and then blowing back up again. Get back to their weight before because they haven't really learned the mechanisms of dieting properly, and they haven't, they haven't done anything that works for them. And then the next time it's a little bit slower to drop the calories quicker to get the same results, and then they've ballooned up again, even worse. And that's what? That's the cycle of life. For a lot of people, dieting yeah. Life. Well, the thing is with dieting is it's more so a mental block, isn't it? And it's always brought, it's always brought with a negative attitude. For example. A wrong like, attitude, would you say? Like, oh, yes, a very Russian attitude. For sure. Well. <laughs> Embrace your own attitude, um, self and like, The exercise and nutrition. You want too much too soon. So I decide today I want to lose weight for Easter Sunday. And then Easter Sunday comes and I haven't lost three stone. Why? That's ridiculous. Why haven't I lost three stone? Oh, fuck this, I'm going to go and binge. Well, the, That's a bit of a dramatic thing to say, but you know what I mean. Yes, but the, the unfortunate part about the fitness industry and all these charlatans and all these people peddling your dog shit is that it's one of those, it's one of those things where there is lots of options to get quick results. For most other things you do in life, there's nothing quick about it, is there? If you want to get more money, yeah, you can play the lottery and you can you know, take a chance and you can do all this shit or you can start robbing banks and mugging people. But realistically, if you want to save to buy a new house or to get a new car, it takes a bit of time. Yes. You got to, you have to put the graft in. Right. Unfortunately, this applies to fitness and health That's and losing weight. a very wi- good way of putting it. Yeah. Well, very yeah. good then. Oh, he looks very proud of himself over muscle. there. Extra but but that's how people get you, don't they? They get you yeah. because they they can offer you solutions that quick. It's like, oh, do you want to do you want to do you, you want to join Push Well? Do you want to come to the studio and train with with Ben in in person? Fucking yeah, that sounds pretty good. Like, how long is it going to take? Well, you know, let's, let's let's give it three months and see how we get on. Oh, well, you know, mm-hmm. Steve on Instagram is selling me some fucking skinny tea, and he's saying oh, I can lose all this weight in in thirty days, and it's like six pounds a month. I'm like bloody hell. Sorry, Ben, you know, like push my off and all that, but I'm just going to go with Steve. Hmm. I've got, I've got a foul attitude. So like, I'm on board with this. I can't stand exercise and nutrition. Hence why I'm going to go with Steve. You, you've promised me in three months. Steve's saying 30 days. 
I'm, do, I'm, I'm going for it. Hmm. It's hard, isn't it? You can't win. Yes. What are you supposed to do with that? Ideally, the longer you've got and you come to train with Ben and push my half, or you use the, the app, there's going to be an app, Fiona, an online app. I've heard about this I'm, a, I'm dipping the dirt. Mm. I'm, I'm an online coach mm. as well. I'm just everything. A podcaster, a YouTuber. Dickhead. An entrepreneur. A, a future, maybe, a potential Mr. Olympia. YouTuber. With this type of muscle mass. YouTuber. The next Arnie. Mm. Just so much going on. You're too on. old to be the next Arnie, Ben. So much going on. Sorry? You're too old to be mean? the next Arnie. What's that mean? Did you see Arnie when he was like 16? He was a monster. He has good genetics. Yes. You for, weren't a monster for, at 16. No, I, well, not very good genetics. Yes. Bit of a porker, actually. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. Yeah, bad genetics. Aren't we all? <laughs> what was I saying? I can't remember. Oh, well, well, the thing is, that's the thing about these episodes. Once, once we start talking about the topics, you get into it. And there's so many facets. And it's quite interesting, but... You're it, saying it, about three months yeah. versus one, uh, 30 days. Yes, it's, fl- I get, I, it's flustering, Fiona, because I know if I, if someone just went to me, Ben, you've got three hours to do this, which technically I guess I do, really. I could just keep going on and on. but <laughs> No. And all this will be edited and all the light, all this will be sorted for you. Just keep going. Just keep going. I'm like, oh, fucking okay, here we go. I'm, I'm getting into this. I c- I'm just trying to, I, I just can't get away from that, r- this rushed mindset of just trying to rush through the points as quick as possible. Yeah, because I've got eggs to cook, so. And I'm already hungry. Yeah, well. me so too. it's 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 So it's frustrating, <laughs> but we're, we're getting there. We're, we're working on it. We're trying to con- condense the points down. Yeah, so it's hard, isn't it? Yes. It's hard, it's, you know, yes. 10 kg. I'd, all, I'd, I'd say with, with, Numbers as well. Don't don't get fixated on numbers. That's why the scales is probably not That's, good for a lot of people. Yes, that but, was my next point. Oh, oh the right. Scales, but yeah. So but so, so push for health three months. It, it's compared to Steve. You know, oh, ten kg, thirty days. Most of that weight will be water weight. It depends on you know if, how big how big you are, how much weight you got to lose. You'll lose a lot of water weight quick if you start cutting your calories. You'll also That's put it back why, on quick though. That's why people get all giddy about keto because oh, you drop your you. carbs and then all your glycogen, all your water. Whew. Adios. Disappears, so you lose those weight quick. And you're like, oh bloody hell! Oh yeah. But then when I have a slice of bread, what happens? Well, you're, 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 that'll be turned into into glycogen, and that'll go to the muscles, and your store water glycogen in the muscles. And what'll happen to those skills? That they will probably go up. Yeah, yeah. If you if you don't have carbs for two to three weeks, and then well, not even binge, you just eat some carbs. You're probably going to get you the 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 scales the next day, depending on what type of carbs. If you have how much sodium you've you've can ingested probably going to put some weight on excellent so scales how would you recommend somebody to weigh themselves funny enough this morning i weighed myself this morning and my scales were a little bit higher oh dear. than i liked oh what are, what's the current body weight fiona do you but mind sharing I'm, to the push health subscribers i'm due on next week so very personal would you go by clothes or would you go by weight or how would you say measurements how would you advise somebody because i hate the scales there's loads of different factors i shouldn't weigh myself on a sunday because actually the weekends i drink a little bit more wine oh i eat a little right. bit more Ooh, la, la. Mm. The, I, psych- the psychology of dieting yes i drink tea in the mornings and then i go weigh myself probably shouldn't do that no i'd say weigh yourself first thing weigh yourself first thing get up get up in the pants and and before eating or drinking well, actually, no, sorry, no, sorry. Go to the toilet, ideally, first. You can't. I need to have my tea first. So go to the toilet, <laughs> evacuate the bowels, and then weigh yourself. Mm. But I think that's why a lot of people lose focus when they are dieting, because the scales aren't going down. But there's a number one factor is why the scale isn't going down. It could be your time of month. You could have had a big meal the night before, as we were talking about the Slimming World thing last week. Mm. Or you could be just, you're working out a little bit more and you're actually, what, build, not building muscle? You just, you don't like that phrase. Well, building muscle? Well, you, you know, putting muscle on in the gym. You what, could be losing what? fat or something. I don't know. What, what don't I like? Tony up? No, building muscle. You don't like when you say, oh, women building muscle. No, I, no, I think women on the whole, just just take it easy. I, mean, I think, you know, that, unfortunately women have this perception, not all of them, but they, they come to the gym. I do they, think I got big legs when I did. Indoor cycling. Right, right. They, you know, they come to the Push Health studio and they think, oh God, I, I can't lift that dumbbell. I'll turn into Arnie. Uh, <laughs> That's me. That was me yesterday. I, uh, come on. It's, no. I feel like Arnie because today. I, Look I, at me. I'm lifting these dumbbells six times a week, five times a week. And like, yeah, I'm not far off, but I'm still not Arnie. And I, I've been doing this for, you know, eight, nine years to be realistic. And I'm eating twice as much as you and I get my protein in. So you'll be okay. You'll be all right. 
And if you put on a bit of muscle mass, it will just be lean muscle. If you're following a, a consistent diet, getting your protein in, losing weight at the same time, or body fat, I should say. That's the whole Tony up. Mm. Tony up. It's like whatever. If, if, it, if it works for you, then fine. But you're not, there's no such thing as toning up. You're just losing a bit of body fat. And then your, your muscles are coming through. Your lean muscles are coming through. You're just Your muscles are coming through. So you're looking leaner. And you might look a bit more muscular. Torn. But it's not to- you're not toning anything, though. Nothing's getting toned. Mm, well, yeah, no, no, but no. you look more toned. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, fine. Admit but it, you no- look toned. No, you, you just lost a bit yeah, of body no, fat. Yeah, okay, so we don't care about and, the and si- you've, Yeah, you've, we don't care about And your muscles science. are showing. Yes, that's the science behind it, Ben. But you look more toned. If it works for you, yes. Yeah, you look more toned. But, but Tony you. up, it's it's just... Yeah, but, but you look fine. more toned. If, if the help, yes, yes. There you T- go, Tony thank up. you. Okay, so it's okay to use that. Tony up. We're jumping all over the place for you. So now we know. Back to the scales. Yes. So how would you... I prefer my method of measurement is my jeans. So like having a having a pair of jeans that used to fit and no longer fish and then trying them on. Funny enough, I tried a skirt on this morning that wouldn't close on me before. Now it closes. <sighs> but my scales is still the exact same. Right. A bit higher actually. But yeah. Not interesting. Am I coming back into it? Yeah, you're allowed. Oh, right. <laughs> That's what I need to do. I just need to just step back, just yeah. take it all in. God, it's half an hour. Oh, oh, oh. Can you just answer me fucking question? Uh, scales. Well, it depends. It depends what people... If people are fixated on the number and... Wait, well, why try to just use a measuring tape? Surely well, that would be better well, because the numbers go down as well. Yeah, but, but then a lot of people... Yeah, you effort. don't want... You know, like, I've, yeah, I've got the measuring tape here. I'm ready to go. But naturally, a lot of people come in, depending on where they are and, and how they feel... The idea of, of coming in and me going, oh, right, okay, you know, take your clothes off then, let's go. Oh, oh. It's, some people go, yeah, no, it's, if that's part of the process and I, I get to, m- measuring is good because, yes, like you said, if the, especially as time goes on and as you get more and more into your, you know, your weight loss journey or your, or whatever you're doing, measurements can be a, a good way to show you that you're still making progress. So when the, the when the scales will stall or, or Couple of weeks in a row, you may not have lost any weight, and that's what you've that's what you've gone for in terms of your metric of how the scales and the number will show you that you're making progress. If you decide to use the scales, and then it slows down or it stalls, that might be a case where you might have to just maybe have a little break, go back to maintenance for a little bit, and then restart. But if you're getting regular measurements, you'll then be able to see, oh, actually, well, the scales haven't moved, but I've actually lost half an inch off my waist, or I've lost half an inch yes. off my bum. Or I've, I've gained half an inch on my bum for the ladies who want to get a big booty. So yes, measurements are quite useful. Yes. It's always worth it's always worth having them, but initially people don't want to come in and get measured straight away. So maybe for the first month, find what's going to work for you. If you're happy to be to use measurements, great. It's useful. The weight, the scales are always a tricky one because a lot of people say, "Yeah, well, I don't mind the idea of, of weighing myself every day," but you have to every day. If you're going to use the scales, you need to do them every day. Because if you don't do them every day, you're going to then say, weigh yourself on a Monday and go, oh, okay, yeah, not, not too bad. You might have had a pretty decent week, get to Saturday night and you've just gone up for dinner. You've not, you're not necessarily overshot your calories or maybe you have a, a tiny bit, but no big deal. Or you've had a drink, you've had a bit, you've had some you know, extra salt in the bit of sodium in the meal, lots of carbs the night before. You weigh yourself on Sunday, you're, you're three pounds up and you shit your pants. So then, so then you've... Because then you need to, because that gives you a weekly average. So then mm. you'll naturally start to see the fluctuations. Mm. When it comes to the sort of food you're eating, menstrual cycle, you'll start to see the fluctuations. So you'll start to come to terms with it more and go, oh, do you know what? That's just part of life. It's not a problem. I think I'll just stick with my skirt. Yes. <laughs> but unfortunately, a lot of people will weigh themselves and it will freak them out. So psychologically, the psychology of dieting, it's not going to work. So if you're going to use the scales, fine, use them. They're, they're handy. They can be useful, but you need to weigh yourself every day. At least, say, for 30 days. Yeah, and and you'll, ha- you'll quite quickly know. You'll know. That's happened mo- multiple times to me in the past. When I was, ooh, <laughs> <What's he? laughs> When I was, ooh, when I was um, dieting or whatever. It's, wobbly, it's because I'm moving, because I'm cold. Just, I'm getting some neating. Very clever. Um, Very clever. Um, what's this in? Oh, yeah, because when I've been dieting before and then you go and weigh yourself and you're up. 
you're actually up with and you've been really, really good. And they're just like, well, fuck this. I'm doing all this exercise. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I've cut back on my calories. I've been really, really good. And I'm up, I'm up money. I may as well go eat and fucking, I'm up, um, wish. I may as well go eat pizza. Yes. Well, that's a good point. Yes. So naturally, <laughs> if you, if your weight fluctuates off, sad. that's, that was what, that was probably what we were getting into in the, in the slimming world. So you can have a pretty good week and then for different reasons, you're not had, you're not had your daily poo, stressed, salt, salty meal before you go and you've had a good week and then you go and the scales are two pounds up. Very much and if you've not, if you've not weighed yourself and you're only, and you're only getting yourself weighed once a week at Slimming World, could be a problem. Yeah. Okay. So I feel like you can talk about Slimming World. A lot, a lot of people who are, who are online coaches and stuff, they're like, you know, they're doing okay. They're not, they're not lighting the world up. They're, they're all about Slimming World. Yeah, okay. but you're they're just giving they're... your opinion on it, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. So I think, yeah, I think we can. Right. So bad right. habits. Hang on, Fiona. Did oh, we, did we, sorry. Did oh, we... I'm so sorry, Ben. Did that all make sense? Remind me before the episode ends to give you give an example of your calories as well. Oh, can I have an example of my calories, Ben? Do it right, now right, while it's in your head. Yep. Right. So mine was 3,200 maintenance. Yeah, has most... oh, uh, so I've, what was five. your, I, I guess your current weight. What's your current weight? 56. Oh, yeah. yeah. No. I guess uh, I guess we're wrong. Why? What did you think? I went was? lower, I think. Oh, well, I, I was, you. no, I was 53 when I got back from traveling. Right. And I've had a very, very stressful few months. Oh, I see. So just to let you know, I was 57.5. Oh, right. When so, was this? Before I started my walking. Oh, I see. I might just go down to 1500. I can live off that. 1500 is quite good. Okay. Yeah. 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 I just I, need to, to treats. <laughs> I have a range as well. That's, that's the... The range. I, I, have I talked about the range? That, no, I've talked about the weekly calories. But I know what you mean by a range. The then. weekly calories. So then you have, you know, some days you eat a bit more. So you have those weekly calories and you have a range as well during the days where you know that the range of calories w- will put you in a deficit. That's why you have the 10% and the 15%. So if you know that to be in a calorie deficit, you, you 1,600 is your target. Shall I track my calories this week? Yes, you can. I yeah. shall. Yes, the app. The app's, I'm launching the app. The app's, the app's ready to go. It's, it's, we're getting close, which will have all the nutritional stuff. So you can, you can, oh, uh, you can scan your stuff, but bar, barcode, you can do all that. You can search for stuff, put it all in the app. It will be there and I'll be able to see it. I don't know how you get on I'll, this week. I'll do that tomorrow. And the training, the exercises. I'll let everybody know next week what my calorie is. Exercise of me. Take. I'll be training. I'll be doing the exercises for you. Well, I am doing my strength and conditioning. It's all coming together nicely. I started yesterday. I saw you in the gym yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. It was, I'll see you later. It was horrible. No. It's horrible. I'd like to be left alone when I'm training. I'm going to use that ball there. I'd quite like to use that to get some cardio. Okay, let's go. Oh, Anyways, God. bad habits. Oh, bad habits. God. So you have, oh, why do we do this? Why am I why rushing? Why do we do this? Why do we have, this is literally, you know, very, very exaggerated, but you have 100 calories for breakfast. You have 500 calories for dinner. And then you have 10,000 calories for a treat. Why do we do that? Why? That's my, that's my downfall. Right. Even though my breakfast intake is probably about four or 500 calories and I actually don't realise that it is with the amount of shit that I put on it. Getting chilly, isn't it? Maybe put some clothes on. No, the, the vest will make sense eventually if we ever get there. Uh, right. Oh, so yeah, a lot, a lot of coaches will have the same thing. They will, they will wrap it up in the same. It will be like, oh, the, the four, the four two method, the sixteen five method, and all this shit. Huh? I'm, this will uh-huh. explain what you've said about the calories and stuff. So they, they will wrap it up in their own method and then call it the method. This is my method. Like, okay, so you just you just create a way people to restrict their calories, which might work for them. Okay. You just regurg- so, so th- th- regurgitate this, and shit. And yeah, this, this is embrace your rotten attitude method, or this is the push for health method. Okay. Let me hear it. Did we not talk about this on the last episode I have about... I no idea where you're going with on, this. Let me, let me finish oh, what I'm, I'm about so to say. sorry, Ben. Fucking hell. I do apologise. Don't like it. I know. Oh, fuck off. Seen that? What are you saying that? <laughs> Such an ass. Right, uh, focus. I can't focus with you and that stupid t-shirt. I, you can't focus, yeah, I know, yeah. And the hair. Can I focus. Focus. The method, the push health method, the embrace rotten attitude method. A lot of people, me included, which links into the other stuff I need to talk about, like the idea of having more calories to play with later in the day. Yes. For dinner. What, what are we looking at? I'm looking for the lip seal. No idea. Okay, can I have a quick drink? So, oh. so the the push health method, or the raw ro- attitude method. Try and have breakfast if you can. I if if uh, I said I thought about the intermittent fasting and the skipping the meal. Oh. Right. Okay. So, might be going against that slightly, but 
Maybe, maybe try and have breakfast. Maybe try and have something for breakfast. I do. If you're, if you're not hungry at all, don't worry about it. Push it to a little bit later in the day. No problem. But it's having, it's having, so it's having three meals mm. and, and a snack, for example, or having, or, or having two meals and a snack. And then it giving you X amount of calories left later on in the day after you finish work to have a bigger dinner, to have a dessert, to have a little bit of a treat. Some people will say have two to three plates of, of a, a lean protein and veg or fruit and then two snacks. And that's your, that's your diet. Mm-hmm. So there was, you, you can have as much veg as you want. You can have as lean protein, you know, obviously don't take the mick, but you know, have a good amount, get your protein source and then have as much veg and, and have as much fruit as you want. Okay. Get it in. Should be quite satiating, should fill you up. You can't really overeat fruit or veg. It depends on what fruit and veg to a point. If you're having 10 bananas, yeah, okay, maybe we need to be careful. Tinker those potassium levels. Yes, but... Try and get those in. Try and get plenty of fruit, plenty of veg in on, 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 the, on the free plates and then the two snacks and then that might be your diet for 30 days. That might include having something for breakfast, having some fruit, having some lean protein for breakfast, getting it in. Or another method of you have your breakfast, you have your lunch, you have a snack, which are on the whole might be high, decent amount of protein, so higher in protein, lower in carbs. A little bit of fat in there, but protein's the go-to. Carbs, keep them low, fats, a little bit, but not too much. And then you've got your calories to play with to go wild-ish, with moderation, just take it easy, at dinner. So you've got, always got more calories to look forward to. I, I, need, to be, I need to be careful because I, I take that to the extreme a little bit because I have to eat quite a lot of calories because, you know, I have lots of muscle mass. Moving around on the, on the standing treadmill, um, the desk treadmill, I'm, I'm moving. Yeah, we get it. Oh, sorry, I mentioned that, didn't I? I, I, I go a little bit OTT because I just I just love the idea of having all these calories. You know, getting the day done, going, oh, right, six o'clock, here we go. I, I'm I'm almost getting half my calories in after six, which which is not the best for me. So that means I'm getting in like over 1,500 calories in two hours. Mm. And then you're burping in my ear all evening. Well, that's a bit exactly which is really attractive. But it's not, that's not ideal. Really attractive. So I, I need to start, and that goes into some of the stuff I've got here. I need to start, that 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 is in many ways a bit of disor- <laughs> disordered eating. Which is a which is a topic binge eating disordered eating that that's not good. I need to work on that. I need to look have, have more have more calories for dinner. You know, excellent. Have a big dinner. We've got some chicken nonsense tonight. Oh, you know, with cheese and oh. So naturally, you'll think, well, I need to keep Very my calories nice. for that. Oh yeah. So you're not gonna you're gonna have a breakfast and then that's you done until dinner. You're not gonna oh, yes. yeah. So makes sense. But I'm but I'm still I, gonna I have need, my treaty breakfast. Right, right. But I need I need to work on that, and I, I'm sure a lot of people maybe struggle with that as well. They they like the idea of having more calories later on in the day. See, so I, I it's, just it's like getting to have the a treat. Op- Sorry. I just like to have a treat after dinner. Right? I find it yes. very difficult in this house because I never used to do that. Yes, I know because there's shit everywhere. There's yes. So- <laughs> yes, the banshee's got chocolate there's everywhere. So much chocolate. There's every drawer, and every cupboard, there's chocolate in it. It's so hard not to. Yes. Even when you hide it, you go looking for it because you know what's there. Yes, yes. And working from home and having my ten second commute at the moment, it's it's tough. Mm. I'm I'm standing, I'm on the desk treadmill. We never used I'm, to snack. No, we didn't buy it. We used to have like an eighty five percent bar and we used to share it, didn't we? Yes. Yes, I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. I, I'm an online coach. I'm dipping the toes. I'm pushing people's health in the in the private studio, Fiona. You know, we're getting there. We're getting there. But like we like we touched upon at the start, unless I, I start robbing old ladies or I start robbing banks, it takes time to get the money together. Like it takes time. Can you just go rob a few banks? With a pushable health journey. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I say okay. to people with a pushable health journey, uh, come to the studio or online, give me 30 days. Let's see what, have, have the 30 days... You say trial. I don't like trial. Like thirty days. I don't know, Just come in and do it. 30, thirty days. Let's see how. We, let's lay out a plan, and that will be the start. And then the start of something beautiful. And that's not me trying to say, oh, oh, god, you're going to be here for six years. Thirty days, just the beginning. Oh, yeah, you know, we've got years ahead of us. Well, yeah, you've got you've got years ahead of you in the sense that you need to maintain this or do something like this for forever. Ideally, exercise forever. Have a healthy, balanced diet forever with deviations. Okay. Forever. So, what was I saying? Calories, evening. Uh, yeah, so, yes. Um, what was the original point, though? Calories, evenings. Why do we have so many treats? Oh, right. Yeah, so th- there's there's various methods of trying to do it. 
first first two or three meals, high protein, lower carb, you know, a little bit of fat, not too much. You said all so, this. Yes, I know. I'm just summarizing. I'm answering your question. Did you did that make sense? What's funny? It's shaking. <laughs> yes, it fucking is shaking. Right, what else do we want to get into? Right, exercise. So the psychology behind exercise, because oh, I thought we were doing exercise as well. Well, yes, exercise and diet. Yes. Well, this, the psychology is, uh, is, is a lot more in, into dieting. The exercise, the exercise, yes. The psychology of exercise is trying to find something that you, you can stomach. I fucking hate it all. Your rotten attitude can stomach. So yes, there's the psychology to that because it's like, so well and good, come to the studio or, or going and going on your spin bike. Talked about the spin bike, uh, applying the brake, going uphill. If you fucking hate that, if you loathe that, doing that twice a week, it's it's not good, is it? It's all, you dread it's, it. But it's always the thought of doing it. But then afterwards, when you've got that like euphoric effect, your dopamine oh, running around, oh, whatever. Yes. And you feel, gra- you feel oh. great. You feel absolutely oh, wonderful. Yeah. And that's that's what makes you do it again. But you will be dreading that all week. And you know it's good doing it. But you will dread you will dread it doing it. Like I cannot think of anything worse than coming in this evening. And doing some fucking just throwing a dumbbell around. I can't bear the thoughts of it. No, and I'm I'm sure you could yes, like you've said, have you ever have you ever regretted doing a workout? Have you ever exercised and gone, oh, I regret that? Unless you, you know, break your leg or something. It's... Mm, probably. No, <laughs> no but I I'm haven't. like, yes. You've got to find an exercising stomach. But yes, of course, there's the psych yeah, the psychology to exercise. Mm. Yeah. It's but that there, there's only so much. You still got to you know, a lot of people will, will use that as, as mo- you know, they have to motivate themselves. Well, that's a problem, isn't it, as well? Motivation. Yes. That, there, there's and an time. Issue, there's an issue with that because motivation comes and goes. It's like everything else. You're, you're going to get waves of it. How do you keep motivated every day? Well, I'd say I'm disciplined. Jocko Willick? Willick? Wilnick? Someone. Jocko. It, big scary guy, army bloke. He talks about discipline and motivation and how um, discipline eats motivation for breakfast. This is one of his phrases. No, he's, 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 you know, he's, he's oh, quite a scary. Please. Well, no, obviously, yeah, for the vast majority, it's, it's a bit much. It, it's, That's but, such a but, fucking cock thing to say, no, though, isn't yes, it? But, Someone but, who's got t- so much testosterone in the body. Like, seriously, fuck oh, off oh, with so, yourself. Oh, sorry, Jock. I was going to get him on the show discipline, in the future. Discipline eats motivation for breakfast. What is it's, it's Will quite... Will you shove um, your fucking testosterone up your arse? Jesus interesting, Christ. Interesting. Fuck off. Yes, for the uh, for the vast majority, that might be a bit much, but but, yeah. the, but the premise oh, is is quite sound, isn't it? It's quite sound. Motivation comes and goes. Yeah, I get you, it. You need to be mo- you motivated to go and do something. You're motivated to to look after your diet. You're motivated to do some exercise. But are you disciplined? But you're not motivated every day, are you? Which is abs- it's not a problem. Discipline is then. Oh, I'm, I, it's a different thing entirely, isn't it? Mm-hmm. But it takes time for this. So time didn't, didn't like that Fiona. Didn't no, like the discipline. Not. He also does. He also has another thing where he talks about um, good, which is, is again a what. Idea. So so he he likes the idea of of bad things happening to people. So, so I, I come into you and I say, oh, I've just uh, I've, the, the, the the garage is full, it's it's burnt down. Push well, it's, oh, it's, it's over. And then you just say, oh, well, good. Remember, I, I say to you about the idea of me doing the thing or, or me coming in. That's I, not doing the thing. I though. don't. I, you know, I, I whinge, but I don't. I don't whinge a lot. I whinge, and then straight away I go. Okay. But it's the idea of me whinging or going, oh, oh fucking hell, like this client's done this, or like this has happened, or like, what? I can't believe this. This is this is ridiculous. And then it's just you going, well, you know, what are you going to do about it? Oh, shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's that. It's so it's when something something bad happens or you don't quite get the, yeah, you, know, you don't get the promotion. It doesn't go your way. And he you will, respond with good. He will then say, good, which is his version of good. What are you going to do about it? All right. Oh, I, you know, I can't. I, I didn't like that exercise. It was hard. You know, it, it was painful. I, it, was, it was tough. Good. I'm like, I would like that actually. Yeah. Maybe we can be friends. So, a, any, <laughs> so within reason, of course. Like, you know, you say, oh, yeah, no, my whole family died. Good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, and Mark, Mark Manson, you, know, you remember Mark Manson, the um, subtle art of not giving a fuck? Yes. You know, he, he took his stuff from obviously like the Stoics and um, meditations and, you know, Aurelius and all that stuff. I don't care. Oh, well, we listened to the book, didn't we? We listened yes, to the book a did. couple of years ago. Yes, we did. Yes, Marcus Aurelius, you know, meditations. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. But the, the idea of, of you can't control what happens to you, but you can control how you feel about it. That's very true. Yes? Yes. Time. Discipline needs motivation for breakfast. So stupid. Good. So stupid. Good. 
I went on a tangent there a couple of weeks ago about getting 10,000 steps in. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good point, actually. Yeah, that's not right, isn't it? now I've decided with my now friend. Now you just can't get enough of them. And now I can't get enough of them and I'm increasing. Like from April, I'm going to be getting 12,000 steps in. Right. And it makes me feel a little bit of satisfaction that I, if I get 11,000 in and I've only planned to do 10,000. So, yeah, uh, about that. <laughs> that's interesting, isn't it? But that's the problem with exercise, the isn't it? That's the problem with exercise, isn't it? Is you actually have to make the time to do it. And that means you're sac- you're sacrificing something else. So I'm getting up a little bit earlier to do the exercise. And come April, I'm going to have to get up even earlier because I'm going to be starting work earlier. So I'm going to have to be out pounding those roads by 6am. Now it's 7. Well, I've, I've got, so that sort of links in. Yes, yeah, that's, that is ironic though, the, the 10,000 yeah. steps. Yes, yeah. yes, you were you were bitching about them. And yeah, yeah but, they still take a lot of time. Yeah, But and I so still you, feel a lot better on myself. But, but and don't, I, I haven't done anything with my diet and I've still lost a bit of weight. But I would say to, to most people, don't don't shit yourself about ten thousand steps. We've no, already talked about I'm only this. Doing but it. I only do it because I'm sat down all day long. Yes, all you need, all you sore. can do to start off with is is get the steps in and, and get the movement in, and and God forbid, try and find the the form of exercise that you can stomach. But that's what Th- I mean. Let's, let's go once a week. Let, let's go for if 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 you're not doing any steps, if you, if you're doing a thousand steps a day, and that's just by accident, or if you start saying, "What well, you need to do ten? You know, what are you doing? You, you're a lazy slob. It, we've got a problem." It's like, oh, can you can you just start actively trying to do two thousand steps? Oh yeah, okay, yeah, probably. Well, I, I only do a thousand accidentally, just by moving, you know, to and from the fridge. Okay, yeah, two thousand, yeah, that, that'll probably work. And then it's like, oh, well, how easy was that? Yeah, it was yeah, it was actually pretty doable. All right, well, three thousand, yeah, okay, let's let's have a look at that. Well, I find by doing the voice notes, I actually don't realise that I'm getting the steps in, and I don't realise the time has passed. So if I was just there listening to a podcast. I would realise I'd be there counting at a time. Whereas well, you, you need to find more interesting podcasts. Jocko Willock. <laughs> no. Good. <laughs> because I am um, voice noting and listening to somebody else's voice notes, they're usually about 20 minutes long and then I'm sending one back for about 20 minutes long. That's 40 minutes of walking done and I haven't even realised I've done it. Just, why, so Why is it shaking? Yes. Well, that's, yeah. that's my method of oh, doing yeah, that, that, that's, that's the only reason why I'm able to do it. That's why I'm able to go on that standing. They, why do I keep calling them standing? Desk, desk treadmill, standing treadmill. What fucking hell? Treadmill. Yes. Yes, great. Yeah. Listen to it, do a bit of reading, listen to that whilst I'm doing some like low bearing stuff, doing a little bit of editing or, or whatever. Well, normally I can't really move and do that at the same time. It's annoying. I can do, there's certain things I can do whilst on the treadmill. Are you going to come and for a walkie with me today? Uh, maybe. Oh, gee, I, okay. I said I don't, I don't like it outside. It's scary, Another problem scary that, people. that I have with doing exercise is not knowing what I'm fucking doing. It's confidence. Well, Push, push, push. We're, we've got the app, Fiona. We've, we've <laughs> oh, got, if, if you okay. live in the area, we've got the studio. The light is on, that's still on. We've got the studio, Push Health oh. Studio. Come for cake. Come for the cake. No, see, we're 55 minutes in, Fiona, and I've just mentioned the cake. The CTA at the start, before we talk about anything, before I start whinging about the camera and the light and how cold it is, uh, you have to say, Ben, shut up. CTA. I don't know what a C fucking T is. Call to action. Right. Push the, the cake, push from the hell, the studio, all that. Get it out straight away. No, you, ideally you, re, you record something, don't you? you? Just have it on at the start. Mm. I can't. I, I'm not doing that. It take it me about four days to, to you know, get, make sure it's funny. And I, no, no. This just, is the biggest long winded CTA at the start of the show. Right. Bang, cake, Pushpole complimentary. Cake. Got the app coming out. You can track your nutrition, your habits, all this good stuff. We'll have weekly calls. You know, you catch up with me. You get to speak to me about how the week's gone. It's it's very good. Can I voice note it? That there's the voice notes option on okay. the. But you, let's, let's get people in. I'm going to get people in. Just trial out for a couple of weeks. See how they feel. Uh, that can help. So you can have me, a video of me performing the exercise. Giving you some tips how to do it. You get to see me, get to see these muscles. And go, okay, right. Yeah, now, now I feel a little bit more confident about going to the gym potentially because I've got Ben there in my pocket showing me the exercises. And, and that's what that's all it is with all this stuff. You look at me, oh God, do you, like, do you need that? Mo- mo- yes. mo- most most half decent coached online coaches have got the app, have got them doing the exercises, and it's all the same thing, isn't it? It's all the same premise. If you go on YouTube, I'll, I'll give you ten YouTube links to people that uh, are well respected in the industry and, and know what they're doing, and you can watch those. So, yeah, well, but it's, I, having, I sh- it's having a plan, isn't it? Yes, well, yes, the plan as well, of course. It's like, okay, so do I have to stand there and just like, right, I'm doing upper body this week, or is there going to be a plan devised for me? So it just follows the plan. 
So you do biceps, you do triceps, you do I don't know what else you do. That's the only things I know. Do uh, I have to go looking for these the exercises? Muscles. I just want a plan that's pre-made on the app. Tell me what to do. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay, I don't want yes. to be standing there searching. Yes, yeah. You can. It depends what you know. If you're doing one-to-one -one coaching, you'll have a you know a personalized. I'm plan. in the gym with a lot of other dickheads. Right. The group coaching will be well. Initially, it will be quite personal because it's uh, it's early days. But the group coaching aspect, whether it be it'll be more of a you know it's like a generic plan. But I'm, I'll be building like you know twenty of them. So there'll be there'll be plenty there, and they will be depending if you're at home, if you're at the gym, full body, upper body, how many days you got per week, how much time you got. What, what equipment have you got available to you in the gym? It's all there. It's that's, a very detailed questionnaire. You saw it the other day, didn't you? It's yes. very, lots, lots of questions. That's the problem with going to the gym, though. The equipment is not available because you've got 10 to, uh, 20 mm. roided up fellas. Those 10 people. <laughs> 20 roided up fellas all around the weight uh, machines. This is all natural. Why is the little tiny weights, the little 3 kgs and 2 kg weights, beside the big boy machines? I just want to go in. Not in every, I don't think in every gym, but most but gyms because the mirrors send me are all there. The website, send me pictures of your gym. I'll be able to then figure out what's the going on. The mirrors are you. all there, and all that you've got all these boys grunting beside you, Ugh, like you were yesterday. Yeah, lifting hard, yeah, like the other. Yeah, I can't remember how many you did actually. Uh, plenty. Thirty-five plus thirty-five is seventy. So hang on, right? What are we? I don't know. What Come I'm on, what, I'm what, just ranting focus. about exercise in the gym. Yes, well, I hate going to the gym. I hate it. I hate it. I yes, hate it. Yes, but it will be yeah, naturally. It will, be, it will become a little bit easier, and, and also no. it will become easier if you've got a program. Yes. if you've got something that you're working towards. If you can just go, I don't know how this machine works. There'll be certain things that maybe, uh, in terms of machines, a lot of the machines are, are reasonably straightforward, up to a point. That's you have easy to adjust for you the chair. To say. No, I mean in terms of once you've done it a couple of times, and if you use that machine consistently. The first one, the first couple of times, you're like, oh god, because you've got to adjust the seat because everyone's using it, blah 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 blah. So you've got to adjust the seat. You might have to adjust the pin. You might have to. So yeah, they can be a bit of a pain in the ass. So ideally, for if, if if people say to me, oh, do you know what? I I, I don't want to go anywhere near machines. They they stress me out. They stress no, me out. No problem, right? Well, we we'll just focus on body weight. We'll I don't just focus want to on using ones. dumbbells. Maybe a barbell if you're at home. Great. TRX. TR idea to get a TRX. You've got your resistant bands. You've got some dumbbells. Get some, you know, you, you probably need some equipment to make the most of it. You need to get something mm. if you're at home. So, for the vast majority, all the exercises that we do here that I'll be expertly demonstrating on the app will be enough for 99.9% .9 of people. Well, I'm very lucky. I can just come to the gym and nobody is here. Oh, that's interesting. I, I don't see you here very often. I was I, here yesterday, Ben, and I'll be here it's today. The first time in this year? Yes. Okay. Yeah. But I was told by a very wise man yesterday that I need to do my strength and conditioning oh, because so. he said, this is how you Was feel. Was this me? No. He said, this oh. is how you'll feel. This is how you feel now. Imagine how what you'll feel like in 10 years time. It's interesting that that yeah. you have to go to like to go and get a massage with some random bloke and he tells you the advice I gave you, no, seven years ago. Yeah. Um, and then and you're like, God, that's really, that's really powerful. Really powerful. God, Got me in here though, didn't it? No one's ever told me that before. No. God, yeah. I need to do some strength training, do I? Mm. I need, to, I, I need to embrace my rotten attitude to exercise and nutrition. Yes, and here wow. I was yesterday. Wow, that's, but he that's was my really, motivator. really fucking insightful. But it is, it is, it is a good way of putting it. Like, how how would you, how will you feel in ten years' time? That is actually that 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 sentence was the thing that motivated me because I've been banging on to you and I've said it to Davina in my voice notes so many times. I need to get into the gym. I need to do this because my shoulders sore, my back is sore, my knees are sore. But it was that phrase. Imagine how you feel in ten years. Time. Yes, and you're what? You're what, 37. So imagine what you get feel like when you're. I'm not 37. 50. I'm not 37. Oh. 32. Fucking looks it. It says you. Sorry. It says you. Uh, oh, I'm confused. Should, should I just rattle off a few random things? Oh, I've got mm. something from um. No. Um, I've got something from James Clear here. Um, is that an insightful thing, or is this is this not a no? That's just just a very quick okay. quick thing. James Clear, Atomic Habits. Have you heard of that? The yes, book? I've read that. Yeah. Have you? Yes, on short form. Oh, right, so you've read yes. the summary of it. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Atomic Habits, I'd say for the vast majority of people, it's it's quite easy to digest. He changed my life, kind of. Was it him? Sorry? There was one of those books that changed my life, remember? I read it. Was it? The Monk, the Chimp. Uh, the, the Chimp Port. Ch the Chimp Paradox? Oh, that's the one, yeah. Oh, right. Yes, that was very good. That was oh, very interesting. Yes, that's you know, it's good stuff, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, atomic Habits. Yes. Yes. Sorry. Yes. It's, I'd say for most, it's, you know, it's like five pounds or whatever. It's pretty digestible. I have a look at that. A lot, lots of, of decent things to take away from it in terms of trying to structure habits and, and trying to get rid of ones that you've got. 
bad habits or, or trying to find ways to improve your habits overall when it comes to exercise and life and fitness and nutrition. But I've got something here that he says about how if you're trying to implement new habits, how can I make it obvious? How can I make it attractive? How can I make it easy? And how can I make it satisfying? So you take those points and then look at habits that you want to try and start implementing. Can you start ticking those four off? Mm. Take those and go, right, okay, I know I need to maybe exercise a bit more. I know I need to start working on on that was me. my diet. I know I need to start doing some some bits and bobs without getting too overwhelmed, without trying to implement 15,000 steps a day and, and not eating anything. What can I start off with? And then, of course, you know, push Ben, push well, he can help you with this. But fundamentally, if, if you're just doing it by yourself initially, or even if it is me, I'd look at those four and think, okay, well, these are the habits that we're going to try and implement or change. Let's start with these four. Let's start ticking these off. How can we do these? Hmm. Habit stacking is another thing as well. The idea of having a habit and then once you've done something, this will then lead to this. So once you do, once you, you have a habit, you go, once I do this, I will then do this. Or after hmm. I've done this, I will then do that. Well, it's like, it's like what I just said. I've do, doing my 10,000 steps. Now I'm doing, now I'm going to do 11,000 steps. I'm going to walk and I'm going to do my voice notes. Yeah, because you're killing two birds at the one stone as well, because you're listening and you're replying back. That's when I do all of my replying back to people. I never text people during the day, ever. I would send my voice notes when I'm walking. Right, well, there you go. Then. So, so, then it, so then if the walking was maybe a burden, you then you've yes, link that in. You've, you've habit how, stacked. Yeah. Your habits of, of responding to people is now linked in with you getting your steps in. Yeah. Right. That's, yeah, that's it, yeah. That's my tip of the day, guys. Do your voice notes while you're walking, get your steps in. Oh, there, there is just so but many. But just make sure you have friends who send long voice notes because five minutes ain't cutting it. And also try and listen to that True Crime podcast. Yeah, just try, try and get that in. Yeah. There is so many notes here. Okay. My well, God. My God. We've not even talked about them. Okay. Well, are um, they really necessary? Well, well, it's all interesting stuff. You know, I've got, I've got right, about stress, stress eaters, stress fasters. Some people, they will, when they're stressed, they will eat more. Some people will eat Which less. What do we mean we know that? Who's fucking we? <laughs> Should we know that? No, you don't. I do. If I'm stressed, I'll eat more food. Yeah, I've got stress fasters here as well. So I some people will, that. will eat less oh, no. when they're stressed. Oh, no, I eat that. Yeah, eat, but no. it, some people do. Okay. Exercise. Exercise is different for a lot of people. Some people will exercise and then be ravenous afterwards. Oh, my God, I, I can eat everything in the cupboard. Oh, I'm like the after swimming. You have to be mindful, though. You make sure that you've got decent, high-protein stuff ready to go when you're at home or wherever you are oh. after exercise. It doesn't mean you haven't got to eat straight after you exercise, but if you are hungry and you are ravenous, make sure you've put in place habits. You've you set up your food environment. Right. It's very... No, this is all really good stuff. Fiona. I know, but so I do I, I, I just rein it in a second. Okay, go on. Set up your food environment. Okay? Yes. So, again, it sounds obvious, but if you open the cupboard, open that fucking fridge in there, and the first thing in, in the in the door is just chocolate, oh, like, caramel not bars. great, is it? Oh, I'm hungry. I'm, oh, I, I, something, I need a snack. Door, loads of chocolate. Oh. That'll open do. the door, in the door, fruit. Low-calorie stuff, maybe a protein option. Chocolate in a, another cupboard at the back of the fridge. Oh, I need to move all that shit to get to it. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, okay, I'll just grab the apple. Uh, you know, it's all right. I don't mind an apple. What does that do? See what I mean? Food mm -hmm. environment. Yes. If you snack or you tend to eat more shit or uh, no, no good or bad foods, I remember that. Uh, more more highly palatable, you know, uh, that, you know, processed foods in a certain place, maybe just move rooms. Maybe go somewhere else. Maybe after you've eaten a meal or eaten, go for a walk. Go upstairs. Read a book. Get away from that environment. Don't go just don't go straight to the lounge with your bowl of sweets. I've been doing my walks. Mix it up a little bit. Go somewhere else. Mm. Do something else for 15 minutes. That's another thing, another psychology thing of eating food. The more exercise I do, the more I can eat. Well, for some people, yeah. Yeah. It's, if you're, but it you, depends on what they're eating. It's all willing. Yeah. Well, a lot of people will, will potentially look at exercise as an excuse to eat more. Yes. So if I go out and do a five thousand walk, I'm allowed to have three pizzas. Yes, or, or they, or they will, and and this this goes into the disordered eating about the idea of 
exercising, you, you know, you might eat something. You know, we've got, we've got Easter around the corner, but that's coming up. Eating an egg and going, oh, I must now go for 15,000 steps to try and burn that egg off. So they eat something a, a bit naughty or something that they, they re- maybe regret or they eat too much of it. And they then go and exercise and, and do crazy amounts of, of dog shit to try and burn that off. It's a form of disordered eating. It is. Yeah, I've, which I've done before. I was going to get into the whole, oh, I'll have to get into that another time. Oh, it's a shame. Shame. Well, just why, get into why it now, then, instead of no, about it's it. long. Just about about my 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 history with disordered eating, and I, I've gone up and down. We used to have like cheat days, didn't we, when oh, we were yes. in London? Not crispy good. Krems. Remember that time you were in the airport? Yeah, true crispy crumbs. Oh. <laughs> but you rang lot- me, said he was after eating true was, crispy crumbs, yeah, and he was so ill. That was that was bad. And that was like I, a nine a.m. flight as well. Bad, yeah, yeah. That was yeah. bad, and then I turned up and got a, a full full English, and then full Irish. and then full Irish, full English, full Irish. Full English breakfast. Irish had just because I was just because I was in Ireland. Yeah, it was a full Irish breakfast. And then bread. and then had a beef and it just oh, just nuts. Yeah, Bonkers. he was constipated all weekend. But I was I I, I was quite restrictive. Hmm. I was quite restrictive, so I was I would spend large. I'm going against what I'm talking about. I was restrictive for say you know twelve weeks at a time, no break, oh, I remember you no maintenance, skinny. just it's yes. Awful. Oh, I will put, after the photo shoot comes out in the future of me looking, you know, not the best. I'll, I'll put out the um, the me looking like a skeleton as well. I'll, he looked I'll, so. Ill. I'll show you that. It was actually gross. It was gross. Not good. Yeah, not not the best. But yeah, so I've I've, I've done it, and that's why talking about all this stuff as well, you have to be careful. You are talking about binge eating, disordered eating. It's you know, you're dipping the toes. But I'm I'm only ever going to talk about stuff that I've got that I've got experience in that mm. I've done personally. That's happened to me, and then still you have to, you have to be mindful. Yes. But yes, disordered eating, binge eating. Do I need to differentiate the two? I've, I've, I've given some examples well, of disordered exactly eating. What exactly is disordered eating, Ben? I know what it is. Well, I've given some examples of disordered eating. Yes. Well, yeah. Eating it all in the evening, yes, time, which or, you still struggle with. Yes. Um, you know, I, only, Not only, a routine with food. Only eating clean food, what you mm. deem as clean. If you have a, a chocolate bar, you, you shit your pants because mm. that's that's not clean. You lose your mind. Mm. Saving, all your calo- saving all your calories for the end of the day. So you starve yourself all day. Oh, God, I can't wait to go home and eat that Ben and Jerry's. Oh, disordered eating. Binge then and then feel sick. Scheduling days or scheduling cheat days or, or calling things cheat I days or cheat days. meals. Just Because you really wanted me to up my game on those days. And well, it was, it, really was, it, was, it was binge eating, wasn't it? Because it was yes. just eating. Just Remember all the it was, a, it was a form of binge eating. But then a lot of people could, could eat, you know, they could eat quite well or they could just have binges where they might, for any reason, stresses and work and whatever else, no motivation that day to exercise and eat healthily and all the rest of it. If you're on a diet, you're trying to watch what you, you eat and then you maybe have a couple of unplanned biscuits. I see this quite a lot, which is like really just exasperating online with the online coaches, you know, very, very clever. There's the analogy of the, the tire. So if you get a flat tire, what do you do? Do you, you, do, you, do you just replace that flat tire or do you just get very cross and go, oh, well, fuck this. And then you just stab the other three tires. Because you've, 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 you know, like what, it's, it's done now, isn't it? you got a flat tire, you can't drive your car, you can't, it, it's gone, it's gone to pot. They obviously oh, don't I'll, I'll just, I'll just go and flatten the other three tires, like whatever. See, a lot of coaches, it's, it's like. I don't a, understand that because that would be it's a lot the of same, It's the same, it's the same, I know, it's the same analogy low where if you have a couple of biscuits, you think your diet's gone to shit. You go, oh, that's it. Oh, so I've got, I've got over more. my calories by a hundred. Where's that tub of Ben and Jerry's? Yes. Where's that pizza? Let's fucking go to town. Mm. Do you, do you know how many times I've seen the, the, the people use that fucking analogy like about that, the tires? It, honestly, that's Did why I've, 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 I don't want to. I've tried to not dip the toes into because it's just everyone just fucking copying everyone because they have to because mm-hmm. it's sort of the same information. So it's just copying everywhere. Well, what's everyone else doing this week? Uh, oh, they're doing the old tire analogy. Oh yeah, okay. Let's just let's just do that. I haven't seen actually anyone actually stab their tires. I'm, maybe I'll do that. You Don't what, you dare. Yeah, but see what I mean? Like this this is what you have to do to, that's what you have to do. To go one step up and to entertain people, I'm going to have to go out there and actually get a car, like punch the tire, just drive over a nail and be like, oh, well, that's that fuck then. And just shoot the tires. You actually don't. just shoot them. And you're like, yeah, hey, <laughs> much like your diet. You don't have <laughs> That's enough. cost me about four grand. You don't have enough clients for that just yet, Ben. Join the app. <laughs> but it push you out from the board life. Studio, one to one. Two to one. And two, two, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, yeah, there's, there's, there's room. There's room there's for. No other, there's, there's room for people. In there's here. no half naked people running around either. So you grant and there's internet. 
Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, that's, we're there to train, Fiona. We're there to, we're to train. We're not there to, to, yeah, get, to surf the, the internet. And to, yeah, we've got, we've got Bluetooth. The voice not on. Yeah, we're, not, we're, there, to, we're there to exercise. We're, we're having fun, having a good time. I, I don't know fun. if you can tell, but I actually had so pretty much, fucking fun bloke. I had fun yesterday, actually. Right, I made you uncomfortable. I didn't. I was. Yeah, I, was, I made you very I, I didn't like it. I yeah. hate it. It's horrible. Yeah. I'll see you later. Um, food environment, uh, hedonic uh, deviations. That's just that's just a smart way of talking about weekly calories and having up and down days. Okay. Higher days. You know, Saturday, Sunday, you might want to go a bit higher. It's not. It's not for most people. They don't want to eat strict calories, same calories every day. Orthorexia. Oh, that's yeah. That's that's kind of interesting. That that links in with the disordered eating a little What's bit. Orthorexia. It's it's only eating clean or healthy oh. foods. What you deem as clean or healthy. And then again, if you deviate, if you have the biscuit, you, you shit your pants and you get very stressed. And mm. that might lead to, that might lead to them binging. Or that might lead to a form of disordered eating, isn't it? So because it's, it's all triggered by a response, an emotional response, which is stress. Oh, I've got all that about the brain, but there's, no, I can't get to that now. Fucking hell. Jesus I just, Christ. I just said it. I've just put it into no, it. How no, much more do you need to go into no, it? No, I know, but I, I'll, I'll get into it. Because one, it's, there's a lot to it. You have to be, you have to be mindful and I'll, I'll, I'll go down a rabbit hole. Next time. Next time. Oh, is that our next episode? What, the brain? No, that's too hard. Uh, clean your plate syndrome. You know, people have got this. I remember you used to lick your plate. I saw that. Oh, I haven't seen you do that in a while. <laughs> clean Sorry. your plate syndrome. Yeah. We a lot of people are, are brought up with the idea of you must you must eat all your food on your plate. Yes. Which yeah, great. That, and your carrots. That might cause a problem though. I, I've I've definitely got that as well. I, I've I've not I've got it in the sense yeah, and I have got it because I, I would never not eat all the stuff on my plate. But that that's because when I'm at home, it's fine because I'm, I'm eating stuff that I, I want to eat, so I'd never not eat it. In in restaurants going out, that that can then become more of a problem. Because there'd be certain foods that, yeah, I, yeah, I'd eat at the restaurant and there'd be things on my plate that I'd go, oh, look at this, I'm sort of slathered in butter. Oh, no. So I have to I have to literally remove the plate from the scene. I have to push it away or I have to put the food onto your plate. But if you leave food on, food on your plate or you can't, oh, a big meal, like, oh, I'm very full up. Oh, I struggle. Oh, God. I need to, you need to eat it's, what's it's on being, my plate. It's being greedy, but it's greedy not. Guts. And, that, and, that, and that then also goes into... Normally it's just, oh yeah, if there's protein or, or there's something that I want to eat, like vegetables, oh yeah, I have that. But then it's the the chips or the bread or the potato. It's like, oh, fucking hell. Well, I, could, I could probably eat some of that. So I've just got to fucking frisbee the plate away. It's food, it's food I don't even want. I, I, don't, want the, I mm. don't want the chips. I don't want the fucking potato slathered in shit. But it's there. It's like, oh, fucking hell. I am very excited. Server, uh, please, uh, can you help me get this shit out of my face? Mm. Thank you. Yes. Yes. It's great having you around. Interesting. Is clear that interesting? My, clear my plate. Yes, it's stressful. Yeah. That's great. So yeah, I, I, yeah. So maybe some people try and in certain situations, you're going to have to maybe think about trying to get away from that. It's not. It's not a bad thing if you're eating foods that you enjoy and it's part of your, you know, part of your diet. And do you mind? Yeah. This is very serious. But that can be an issue, especially when you go out to restaurants. And there's, you know, the food's piled up and there's certain foods in there that you know, like, oh, well, I don't need that. I'm quite full up. That, that's a tough thing as well, is, is, mm. is eating to you when you're- just need a dog on it. It's when you're satisfied. Like, I, I don't do that. Like, like everything in life, I don't do that. It's I like, do it's try like going, to stop. No. But I do, yeah, it's, it's hard. No, I've, there's a, I've got a problem with that, definitely. It's like, it's like, it's everything. I don't mm. stop. It's like, it's like booze. We go, oh, yeah, you should have a few drinks. And when you get drunk, that's enough. No. No, it's not. No. Because you don't recognise that you're drunk. No, absolutely not. No. No, we're going until the wallet's empty or until you've blacked out. That's what we're doing. Okay. What are we doing now? Uh, I could get I could get into the whole Donna kebab and the, and the, 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 oh. the nuggets and all that stuff, but that's just... That was it's, when it's you all, met me. Yeah, it's, well, I had my last Donna kebab with you. And I was yeah. like, I woke up, I, I'd thrown it up and gone, I'm not eating that again. And you haven't? No, I haven't. No, no, no. They're, they're not the best. Nights out, maybe we should talk about, we'll talk about hmm. alcohol maybe. Alcohol nights out. That might be a, yeah, that'd be a future thing. The 20 nuggets. 14 nuggets. Oh, 40, 14 yeah. or 40? 14. 14. Two boxes. Okay. Two boxes of 20. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. yeah, good time. Yeah, I had a good time. Enjoyed myself. So I never used to do that. That's all, that's all. That's the main, like re main reason I went out. That's the main reason I've I went out. I've been to McDonald's, obviously, after a night out, but I've like always got on a wrap or a little burger. That was it. Got a burger, so yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get into it. That's the, that's the alcohol. What does Lisa we're, we're, get? 
she gets one of those stupid fish or fillet rolls or burgers. Yeah, what, what is that? I used, what to, is, I used to go to people, there was the people at uni right. I used to go to McDonald's with, and they used to get the old fillet of fish. It's because it's a pound. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're just just a fish burger. I yeah. do quite they're, like they're their, okay. little, yeah. their little, they're not a, the pound burgers. They, um, what are they like, just cheeseburgers? I always used to try and get the McFlurry with the shooting card. Oh, I love McFlurry. And the then McFlurries. naturally, the, and a lot of time the McFlurry machine wasn't on. But there was the the occasional time that it was. It's because it had cleaned. That's yes. the only reason why it wasn't yes. on. There was a couple of times where I used to get the McFlurry at 4 a.m. Harry's chocolate orange McFlurries when we lived in London. Oh, oh my God. God. Ow, you yeah, fool, you. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, that was like your toe. Yes. No, that's good. God, I'm, yeah, we've been sitting here a while sorry, now. Then. I'm getting a bit... Um, oh, the Terry's Mac- oh, McDonald's, if have you're they listening, not, have they not please that back? bring that back. Please. Well, if one of our 11 subscribers could maybe start a campaign for the Terry's. Oh, have they not God. brought that back? Is no, that not- that's never been back since. And every time around Christmas, I will always go into McDonald's and check. Always. They, they, are you sure? They've definitely not brought yep. the Terry's back. Because Terry's 100%. is quite popular. The only time that I didn't check was when we were travelling. Because obviously I wasn't in the country. Check. No Terry's, you sure? No Terry's since then. What was that, 2018? Right. Very, very sad. Right, we'll bring that up in the in the alcohol episode. Could have been 17 or 18. How many Christmases did we have in the Claxton? Too many. Two, must have been. Too many. God. Yeah, two. We, I've not even mentioned the, the bodybuilding stuff. I didn't want to talk about bodybuilding because I don't, I'm, not, I'm not getting on stage. I've had the photo shoot that will be coming out, but... I'm not getting on stage. I'm not putting the fake tan on. I'm not doing that. But that links in with our film, doesn't it, Fiona? It does. About man. bodybuilding and not just bodybuilding and the idea of of starving yourself for twelve weeks plus and then getting on getting on on stage and you're you're half dead. But you're you're meant to be. You know that's the pinnacle. You're you're a, you're you look you look healthy. You look ripped. You couldn't be any more unhealthy at that point. You, well, you're barely standing up. Well, that's like Jake Gyllenhaal in Roadhouse. We watched that yesterday. Oh, we watched a bit of that, yeah. Yeah, it looks looks fantastic. Oh, yeah. his body. Whew. Oh, you know. It's but his face is as not gaunt. Not quite, but. His face is as gaunt as to come. Yes, he's, he's. He looks so on He's well. worked hard for that body, yeah. Yes, he's worked so hard, but his his face doesn't look nice in it. And he's got a really nice face, which is such a shame. Well, I think he looks fine. He just, yeah, no, he, he just he looks just, gaunt. He looks gaunt, yeah. Yeah, he looks, yeah. He looks half dead. But, but, that, but that's the illusion, isn't it, as well? Like, you look at him. With his top off, he still looks big. You think, fucking hell, yeah. Like, he's, he's obviously in good nick, but he, he still looks muscular. He's like, yeah, he looks big. But he's, he's so his malnourished. His vascular system also looks very good. But he's, he's so, he's like, you know, he hasn't mm. probably eaten. In those in those pics, those shots of him with the top off, he's probably not eaten for two days. He's probably very water restricted. He's all sorts of stuff's going on. But he looks, but it's you still look. so hard on the body. You still look at him and think, God, he, he looks pretty big, doesn't he? He yeah. looks like he's in shape. But the t shirt goes on. It's like, fucking hell. Like, have you, yeah, have, you, have you ever been to the gym in your life? Yeah. You just look like you're half dead. Mm. Your happiness is not guaranteed to go up when your body fat levels go down. Very good. People with a six pack are some of the most miserable people. Some of the most miserable people. Yes, I am. Some people are just naturally genetics and stuff. They might just have a six pack or it might be more noticeable. But for the vast majority, if, if you're walking around with a, with a really solid six pack, most of the people that you see online aren't walking around with a six pack all year because it takes, it takes a lot of effort. And if they are, if they're walking around with a six pack most of the year, they're probably pretty fucking miserable. If I do Terry Crunches, will I get a six pack? Six yeah, pack? But you, you, <laughs> you, like you've never had a six pack, but you'd know that if you wanted to get a six pack, you'd have I to. I don't think I'd ever get a six pack. You'd have to be pretty. Uh, no. Well, genetically, you might not be able to get a, a defined six pack. Everyone's got a six pack. It, it's there. It's, un, it's under there somewhere. But it depends how, how big the abs are, genetics, if you've got a four pack, a six pack, all, all that stuff. But most people, you have to have a pretty miserable fucking life to get a six pack. Mm, I don't want that. Your hair is getting frizzier by the second. Oh, here we go. Yes, oh, here we go. Okay. Right. Um, think about it like this. How many people try and lose weight under the guise of improving their health, but follow a diet plan that you definitely wouldn't view as healthy? Hmm. Very good. That sort of links in with the bodybuilding stuff and getting on stage yeah. and all the rest of it. The one hour photo. Oh, that's the film we're doing. One hour photo. Mm-hmm. One hour photo, 6.8 on the IMB uh, DB. <sighs> a mentally unstable photo developer targets an upper it's middle. Harsh. That's, that's what the IMDB said. Targets uh, an upper middle class family after his obsessions with them become more sick and disturbing than any of them could have ever imagined. Starring the one and only Robin Williams. 
Let me just scroll all the way down to the film. I don't really review. care about the other act- actors because they're shit. That they, yeah, so. they're not. They're not. They're not great. They're not great. Connie Nielsen is the, is the wife, isn't she? Yeah, she was in Gladiator and she's been in various. Bits she's and so bobs. annoying. What was with that whispering voice? Yeah, they're not, they're oh, not great. come here, darling. Why would you say that? Oh, fuck off. Yeah, they're not. They're not the best. No one ever takes a photo of something they want to forget. It's a very good quote. That's a very very good quote, yes. Robin. Robbie. Is that Robbie. true? Yeah, I, I, I see the premise of it. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, you're not standing there at the side of the road taking a picture of something. Just oh yeah, I'm going to forget that. You're you're taking it to cap- capture a memory. Well, and and so that that goes in with 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 the world we live in now. But oh. there's there's so many fucking folk. That, that that sort of that doesn't make sense now, does it? Because there's just so many photos. Yeah. Everyone just lives behind a, behind their phone. You can't go out and get pissed and someone's taking photos or videos of you dancing. But the the the, the, the one hour photo thing is is it applies to the bodybuilding thing with mm-hmm. the you know you, you you do all this for twelve weeks and all this time just to get an hour's worth of photos of you looking half dead, but you've got the fake tan on the muscles are there. Oh great, lovely. Mm-hmm. Jake Lindenhall would have maybe six months of training to be on 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 the film. Well, it's two hour film. It's very long that film. It is quite long. But it's, you know, six months of training just to be on, like, have his top off three or four times. What about Connor? It's like... He lost a neck. Oh, he's, he's just looking fucking grim, isn't it? It was just... He's looking grim in that It's just film. that scene. He's, like, literally like the fucking hunchback, isn't he? He looks like the Hulk, actually. That's exactly what he looks like, uh, the Hulk covered in oil. Well, there's... Yeah, well, there's, there's rumours of of, uh, of drug abuse. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, they, no they, they, shit. They, the roids have gone straight to his neck and he's, he's yeah. trapped, which is... It's Very the, common. Oh, you, in you, you know about that, yes. Yeah, you yeah. told me this before. Oh, I, right, yeah. oh can that, you tell different us... Different film, different film. That's, can you tell us a story about when you were tra- when we were travelling and you you seen somebody injecting themselves with steroids? That's right, yes. Come on, tell us the story. Yes, where was that? That was Indonesia somewhere? Yeah. Yeah, I think that happened, that happened a couple of times. Yeah. But yeah, there was this one gym that I, I used to... Some of the gyms I used to go into were extraordinary. They were just disgusting. And you just see me, this guy. I was I was a little bit thinner as well because I started to lose the old muscle mass because I wasn't really eating very well. Or training. Yeah, so, yeah. and I was going to these gyms, like, traipsing through, almost getting run over, and, and then going into these rusty gym, all this rusty equipment, and it was, it was grim and sweaty and, and horrible. And then, yeah, one of the this gym in particular, they were, I don't think like, they was they were very forthcoming with me being there. I don't think they wanted me there. This white man walking in, so they started to, to like sort of gather around me and start like grunting and lifting all these weights. Right, okay, nice intimidation. And then and then they went off and had the door wide open to the the staff room or wherever they were, and they were just injecting in their ass, taking turns injecting. Um, yeah, God, God knows what. Some form of of roid, but they were making eye contact with you. As yes, they were, they, doing they, were they were looking at me. Yeah, yeah, they were they were look. I think they were looking at me because they probably thought I'd look over and be like, oh, fucking hell. but I just stared at them for like five minutes. All right. How are you getting on? <laughs> How are you, lads? Yeah, it was pretty. Yeah, so you're trying to train in that. Anybody want to yeah, spot it was, me? It was just yeah, not good. Yeah, yeah. rough. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, back to this. Was that not in Malaysia? No, I think that was Indonesia. Mm-hmm. It happened again as well. But yes, the one hour photo. Sorry, the film ben. one hour photo. So you've got, you've got the yeah the one hour photo of the, of the pictures, which is taking you six months to train for or whatever. And also the one hour photo of of how long people take to take one photo. So they, you can take millions of photos now on your phone and, and, what, and the camera and it's like, oh yeah, whatever. You don't really think about it. But when it comes to social media, I imagine the amount of time that people take they spend on just making one photo with the filters, mm. the right position, it, all this. How long that takes to take one fucking photo, one hour photo. So mm. one photo could make maybe take an hour based on all the shit they have to put on it. It's a shame. Isn't is, that, it? is, that, like, is that an interesting way yes. of looking at it? Social media? It, yes. It's, it's a shame that like those kind of photos have gone now, isn't it? Because I do love photos and I think there's something about them. I can't wait when we get to our own place that like I'm going to be taking the pictures that we have a traveling and putting them around the house. Because I, I like them. Like, I've got some pictures that could be fucking brought into a fucking canvas. They're so beautiful. Oh, are they pictures of me? No. How do you think Robbie Robin would have found the, uh, if we'd have given him the, the shots from the, the shoot? I think he would have been highly would he disgusted. Have the, would he have called the police? I think he would have been disgusted. Right. No, they only called the police if it's child pornography. Oh, well, there was no, there was no, ch- oh yeah, we should, I, I never touched upon the whole children thing. There, there was some confusion on, on the first couple of episodes. Mm-hmm. Just confirm that. But you wanted to. 
No, touch, it was confusion. Touch children. It's confusion. Confusion about the the children. But Uncle you ben meant and you stuff. want to touch their lives or something. Uh, yeah, 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 that, yeah, yeah. Confusion. I'll probably just cut this bit out. Does, right, doesn't okay. make sense at all, does it? With the theme of the the episode. Yes. So what our photo film? He's got so Robin has all these pictures on the wall of this family, and we were talking. Imagine if someone has all Ben's pictures up on the wall. <laughs> imagine the photo from from. from <laughs> Do we? Oh, From right, your yes. photo shoot. Oh my God, we could totally do a wall here. Yeah, we could, yeah. We could yeah. do a wall here. You, oh, your photo shoot pictures. Well, uh, we have 11 subscribers There's as, 200, as, of, how as many, of recording. 177 or 277? 177. Not subscribers yet, unfortunately. No, no but, we, but we've got, yeah, we've got 11. So that, that will be, by the time this comes out, God knows where we'll be. Yeah, 13. Well, so oh. how do you know? How do you know not one of those subscribers? Once I start dropping these photos out, or from the shoe, they start, you know. They might print them off then. I think I've got it in my notes that she will, Fiona, like, be careful with them. Make sure that you we keep those photos in-house because if they leak, you know. Well, I'm pretty sure the broadband are. man seen them last week. So That's a different story entirely. Yep, yeah. it is. It is. Uh, that's all I really got about to say about the film. Very good film. Very good film. We, we, we literally didn't even talk about the film. Yeah, no, but it's a good film. Like, what more do you want to say about it? Well, we got to the, we're a film review oh, podcast, right, okay. aren't we? So, I, I hate doing the film reviews. I can't stand it. So this was the second but, time that Robin had to bleach his hair. His first one was in the 1980 film. Would you like to introduce the film then? Oh, that's that what, Popeye? Oh, yes. Awful. An awful, awful film. We've been, to the, we've been to the set in Malta, haven't we? Yes, we have. Yes. Oh, yeah. So I'm, uh, this is Popeye. I'm wearing a Popeye. Would you like Popeye. to get closer, Ben? Stand up, get closer. I, no, stand up. I, I, do, I could do a stretch of my legs, actually, yeah. Oh, there you go. Christ. Oh, there's the pyjamas. Oh, oh yeah. Take the headphones off. So if you off. can just tell the, the viewers. And yeah, so we oh, went no. to Malta, the site in Malta. Turn, Ben. Jesus. The site in Malta. Um, very underwhelming, but very hot all the same. Oh. Ben, sit down. And then we bought this top in Vietnam, I believe. No, it was in Phuket. Wasn't it the first time we went travelling? And we bashed it with her. Ben, sit down. Christ. Sorry. Sorry, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that was a story. So, also, funny enough, Robin Williams, he had to shave most of his arms, his chest and his hands for the movie because of his extremely hairy body. Oh. I'm pretty sure That's you could relate to that, Ben. Still haven't shaved since the photo shoot. So no. I need to probably do that. You need to do your hair as well, Ben. Oh, God, that was... God, I'm stiff. Uh, Popeye, yes, yes. So, I've yes. told him about Popeye. Oh, yes. So, yeah, uh, Phuket, Phuket. Phuket. Yes, that's where we got it from. Yeah, there's just loads of them. They just, they just love their Popeye vest. As do you. That's why I'm wearing it. So it took, took us over an hour and a half to get to it, but that's it. I've got the vest on, that's why I'm wearing it. Did you hear it click? Robin Williams. Oh, that's not a weighty jewel. We, we'll no. keep that for another episode. That, so that, that is actually, a whole episode on itself. I didn't actually... make that note, much notes on the film oh, because it's a good film she's pondering it's a good film oh it's a very good film very well, yeah, it's yeah, very very well, well, put, together. well put together and you, you don't actually think it until you think about it afterwards that it was actually so well put together like all he wanted he didn't want to cause any harm to the family all he wanted was to be a part of the family that was it he was like a very lonely man I don't know why he picked this family in particular probably because he'd seen them from a baby and he just wanted to be Uncle Si yeah, the, the film could have gone another way where it could have been um, Robin Williams trying to get rid like, of the daydreaming husband. about yeah replacing the husband and then it led to him you know, eventually snapping and coming in and well, killing was, the husband and all this stuff. So it could, have, could have gone it was that way, couldn't it? It was an idealistic family environment for him. That was something that he probably never had. So like, you know, you have the mum, the dad working, then you've got this little rancid son. Oh, oh poor little You know, poor you've little, got, they've got a beautiful home, they've got... You know, he's working, whatever. And then as soon as he finds out that he's cheating, then it's just like, oh, he snaps because he's just like, no, absolutely not. You're not well, bringing up my family home. He loses his job, doesn't he, as well? Yeah. So that, that would be very upsetting for, for Robin because he wouldn't be able to see the family anymore. Yes. Well, that's, that's, yeah. Do you know um, Jack Nicholson was meant to play the role of Cy? No, oh, he, turn, he turned it down, did he? Yes. And um, Robin Williams was actually going to be the manager of the store. But when he read the script, he asked, could he be Cy? Interesting. Mm. Yeah, I Very think, interesting. I think Jack, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah Jack's Jack, isn't he? Yeah, I'd, mm. I'd have enjoyed Jack. Mm. But no, it's nice to see Robin 
playing quite a seri- serious, serious yeah. well, he, well, he was phenomenal, wasn't he, Rob Williams? Yes, phenomenal. Very he was. He was a very brilliant. He was a genius, wasn't he, he? In terms of what he did, he was. It was very good. He actually did. They were saying in a trivia that he um, was very comedic on the set, and as soon as they like film was shot, then he'd completely change his personality and it'd be more comedy related. So yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I can imagine it must be exhausting being Robin Williams. Mm. Exhausting. Mm. And unfortunately, I think what took place with with how it ended, but mm. it must have been, yeah. But yeah, no, very good. And it was Mrs. just, yeah. Doubtfire, I love that fellow. Yes, and, but yeah, he was he was always, he always had this in him to play this more serious role. Yeah. Insomnia, Insomnia. as well. Insomnia. Came same out the year. same year. W- yeah. What are the chances? I need to watch that again. I, I think that's a good film. I think it's decent. I, an, I need to watch it again. There's another film where he plays in around a similar role. That is in now. I think he's doing something. I don't know what he's doing. I can't remember. I read it in the trivia, but it's a similar role to what he's what it was now. Okay, what was what's it called? Fiona? Mm, can't remember. Okay. Can I write down. I don't know why we had to see him being being arrested at the start. I don't know why. Why do we have to see him? What? what why? What? what why that? Stare. Yeah, you see him d- taking his mugshot. I know. Yes, oh, he's yeah. having his photo, and like he's having his, he's having his photo taken. Other than that, it was like what. Why, why do we need to see him arrested at the start? Let's just, let's keep Cause it. Because it sets the scene. It tells you how it ends, doesn't it? Yeah, I know. I didn't. Why? Because it just makes you ponder, ooh, what's going to happen? Or why does I he guess. get arrested? Right. It's the mysterious. I'd prefer mysterious. not having that. Mysterious. And you're going, oh, where's this going to head? Like, yeah, he's a bit weird and he's, yeah, he's obsessed with his family. But where's this heading? Is he going to kill the dad? Like, well, obviously he goes to not, prison, not but this... you don't know why he goes to prison. Well, yeah. But... He's actually going to prison for nothing because he wasn't even taking photos, was he? Of them. Like they said he was. Food for Tosh. Right. Parents suck. Yeah, I've got that. Um, oh, so, oh so she doesn't want the cardigan because she starts whinging, doesn't she, about the dad? You know, the whole like the cliche. You're like, never here. You work, you're not here. You work too much. And, yeah, he's uh, busy with his boss, love. Yes, but then he's like, well, sorry. Do you want the house? Do you want this? No, I don't want any of it. Okay, I'll take the cardigan back then, shall I? Well, no, I'll keep this. <laughs> all right. All right. We get it. Okay. Yeah, I'm pushing people's health and pools alive. We're going to get that as well. I'm, I'm a YouTuber. I'm very busy. In the future, yeah, I'm sure I'll we'll have the same conversation. I'll come in, I'll be standing there with the vest on, you'll be like, you're not here. Oh, you're please. in the studio all the time. Yes, I would You know, little that. Billy, he doesn't even know who you are. Oh, oh what's happening? Mm. Fiona, we've got 14 subscribers that I've got to make videos for. <laughs> like, what do you want Let's me to do? Let's hope by the time Billy comes, you'll have a few do you more want a, Do you want that cardigan on or not? Because um, It's my jumper. Yes, but you'll have your own form of cardigan, mm. whatever you like. Bloody fuck it. What's it called? Vintage. Vinted. Vinted. Oh, I love Fucking vintage. Hell, honestly, it's all you two arseholes talk about. Sorry. You get good deals. Can I? Yes, vinted. Yeah, very, very good. Mm, you can do it shopping on it yourself. Um, as if. Arsehole. Right. Yes. Okay. One hour photo. Yeah. Everyone... I love it. I love the end. Oh. Can I see my pictures now? Do you wrestle with, with, I can't really hear myself very well. Do you good. wrestle with, do you wrestle with the, your feelings towards Robin? No. Robin Williams? I, I keep wanting I just, to say Robbie Williams. Robin. I just I just like him. I Sigh. just really like him. So so you feel sorry for him? You, you, you're, you feel... Yeah, because you, you know that he's very lonely and you can just get that sense of him. And that's what I like about this character is you do get that sense of loneliness and you do know that he doesn't mean any harm. You you can feel that from the character. You know yes, he's, he not, he's not going to gonna be... be spiteful. He's not there to like hurt the kid and do take pictures of the kid. He's just there because he wants to blend in. And he just wants to get on with He just with wants them. to be part, he wants to be Uncle Si. Yeah, exactly. That's all he wants is to be part of the family. And same when he buys the same book that she has and she takes it out when he's there and when she's there and all of this. It's just because he wants to relate to them and have a bit of conversation with them. He just wants to be that other, that little bit more of a person in their lives. I think it's really nice. No, it's not like you're getting a little bit emotional. No, I'm not getting emotional. Right. But I just think, I think it just portrays, he portrayed the character really well. There was no, there was no any kind of, he wasn't a creep. He comes across as creepy, but he wasn't actually a creep to the family when he kind of was. But it was all for not the reasons you'd think. It was just because he wanted to be part of it. Well, it, it touches on the, the a potential child molestation and uh, issues so, in, his, in his childhood. It touches yeah, on so that a little si- bit. So size rant about child pornography in... Who? Child pornography, size rant about child por- pornography. Yeah. Pornography. How do I say it? I don't know, you said it weird. Pornography. Yes, that's fine, that's fine. Um, and your man's betrayal in the final scene um, hints at his backstory. 
He had been exploited by his dad for child pornography, the horrible, even and despicable things that his father made him do, left him emotionally and physic- uh, left him with emotional and physiological trauma. The discovering Will was having an affair brought back painful memories of his own father, which caused him to snap. Well, that's not guaranteed, though, is it? That, that's just that's inter- well... that's interpreting. That's you know he touches upon it, so it's not it's not guaranteed, though, is it? It doesn't confirm that definitively. Mm-hmm. You could look at it that way. Very sad. Yes, you, yes. that might not be the way. Like, it might not be the way, but that's what the trivia said. Just... So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> so what the trivia says? Goals. Gary Cole, who the the boss? Have you seen Have you seen Office Space? I don't know. Oh, so he plays. Oh, so Gary Cole, the boss. He pretty much plays a, a, a watered down version of, of the character he plays in Office Space. Oh, okay. Yeah, not, maybe maybe we should watch Office Space. Okay. How can we link that in with Push Your Health? Office don't know. Let's no, just continue with what you're saying, please, because time's ticking and does it. Yes, yes, I know. Fucking hell. Um, film predates social media. Yeah, so I don't think... I need to put a watch This is what, 2002? Yes, 2002. I think MySpace came out well, soon after this, or a couple of years later. So yeah, this this was out before social media. Oh, God, MySpace. The, the idea of giving people, giving your p- personal photos to people, that's an interesting one, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So they can all these they can see all this personal stuff. It's yeah, it's interesting. Well, it was great when um when we went a step above because after so you used to bring them in to get them developed, and it used to take like three days to get them developed. Remember that? It used to take like three days to get them developed, and then it was just like all oh, one hour, and then it was a thing where you could connect the lab. The, no, it was then the digital cameras came in, so your memory card. You could put the memory card in on the screen, and then you could pick the print as you wanted to print. And no one ever looked at your cameras because it just printed from the machine. And that's what you do now if you want to get pictures printed Oh, out. right, yes. Strange how everything works, isn't it? How yeah, all these, just... all these personal photos. So you may have had one person looking at all these photos yeah. and, then, and then they just stayed within the, the family house and then maybe some you know close friends and family might look to them. Now, social media, you just got everything. What everything's did he just, say? Everything's just on display. New all these parents. personal photos. Millions are seeing them. New par- parents go photo crazy. I think dog and cat parents go photo crazy as well, to be fair. Did you see my photo that I sent you um, about any pets? You asked on your on your app if there was any pets, so I sent a picture of my pet. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. I've not, I've not checked. Yes, yes. Is that nice? Do people do you think people will enjoy sending me pictures yeah. of their pets? Yeah. Yes, that's I liked good. It. I sent you a picture of my pet. You don't have a pet? I do. All oh, right. <laughs> it's not, it doesn't belong to you. She's my borrowed pet. Right, she doesn't belong to you. That's weird. You, you just want to be part of... Um, Her life, yes, I, I'm the Robin yes. in uh, their household. <laughs> right, I think, yes, that will do. Yes, yeah, it's, it's good stuff, yeah. Right, was, around the world, la, 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 la. Did you hear, la, hear la. me say about the social media? It's different now. It's, yes, very different it's, now. Yeah. It's, it's not personal anymore. It's just yes. one hour photo. Everyone just sees all your personal, intimate photos, yes. don't they? Very intimate. Yes. You know, people, people give birth. It's like, oh, there's a baby. Yeah, the baby. they've recorded it's it all like, now. It's mm. fucking hell. Mm. The baby's not even out and there's pictures of baby social filtered. media. I, I do struggle with, with the white and the blood. I do struggle with these photos well. of people and their profile pictures. We when just they, when they've it just makes got them happy. Yes, yeah, no, I'm, I'm all about I'm all about pushing your health, but the, 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 just these heavily filtered photos. Like, oh, oh, babe, that's beautiful. Mm. I don't mm. know who that is. I, I think I'm assuming it's the person whose profile it is because it's on their profile. I don't know who that is. I can't see them through the filters. On that note. Around the world, la, 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 la. Bloody hell. God, there's notes. Uh, Just what have, two, please. What have we got? Do these link in? I don't, I don't know if these link in. My toes are very cold. Uh, yeah, so just so just some some biases and some fallacies. We touched upon these a fallacies. few a few episodes ago, didn't we? Fancy Just a couple. I, ones that I didn't get, get out. Oh. A bit random this week. <sighs> so we've got the Dunning-Kruger effect. So this is overestimating your knowledge or expertise in an area. I'd be, you know, be very mindful. I'm, I'm sitting there talking about pushing your health and pause alive, but, but that's that's my issue. Like it's the opposite. I I haven't read one book and gone, oh yeah, well I know everything. Uh, one one book about about dieting or nutrition. Oh yeah, well I can, I can push your health and pause alive. <laughs> no problem. I've read this book. I, I've I've read too much. I, I'm, well, it's it's excessive. It's obscene. I, I'm if I'm not I'm listening to a podcast about this and about the menstrual cycle, and then I'm reading a book about fucking. Reverse dieting. Well, it's the only person like, that can push their health from the puzzle life is that person. Because if they're not in it, 
Dick Hopefully, with my me and Popeye support, yeah, I'm, I'm here for you. Mm. I've got the app. We've got the the face to face personal studio. One to one, two to one. But yeah, so so yeah, you, yeah, you'll find that a lot of people maybe will will read something on on a topic. That's why social media is probably not helping as well. Is that they will read one article on social media and be like, well, yeah, obviously, duh. I'm an expert. And you'd go, oh, so what do you think of this? Well, yeah, it's it's, it's this, isn't it? Oh, okay, so like, what what other experience do you have? Uh I don't need any. I've read this article once. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Dunning Kruger effect. You mm-hmm. don't seem remotely interested by that. No. I Not was interested. Thinking okay. about pulling my washing underline. Okay. I was wondering if it's raining that day. Cognitive dissonance oh, you occurs said this when we hold two or more thoughts or beliefs that are in- incompatible with one another. So you know, me pushing out from the pools of life. I'm fit. I'm healthy. Yeah. I, I'm. I'm here. I'm here to help you. Whilst I'm. I'm smoking a cigarette. Mm. It's like. Well, Hang on, Ben. You're talking about pushing you off and pause of life, and you're, you're this, this personal trainer and your health coach, but you're smoking twenty a day. Right? I, I'm not sure. I what's, spoke to someone what's going who on? Spoke two boxes per day the other day. All right. Two boxes. That's a lot. That that also links in with people who are maybe maybe like you know trying to push the health, being more mindful of their diet and their exercise. So, but then they might exercise and they go and do something they might not enjoy. If you're doing stuff that you really don't like, yes, you feel better afterwards, but then you use the exercise and you treat it as as a excuse to reward yourself. Mm. You know, you jump on the spin bar, you know, oh, I feel better. Then right. you go home and have your and then you have your Ben and Jerry's. Pizza. Yeah, nothing wrong with Ben and well, Jerry's you in go moderation. Ben and Jerry's, I always go for pizza. Yes, no, nothing <laughs> wrong with those foods in moderation, but Ben and Jerry's. Well, the chips pre- is my pretty problem. hard for me pizza. anyway. Like, there's, I've, I've never not eaten a whole top of Ben and Jerry's. That's disgusting. I, I'm not gonna. But it's hard, isn't it? Even if you have like a scoop of Ben and Jerry's, you know, a lot of calories. Mm. How many people are having a scoop? If you're if you're grabbing the Ben and Jerry's, how many people are actually grabbing the Ben and Jerry's out of the freezer and just having a couple of scoops and putting it in a bowl? Like, not many. Surely not. It's just not happening. So yes, I, I'm very you know I'm very healthy. I'm looking after my diet. I'm 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 trying to push my health. All this, go and exercise, and then at the same time, you look in the the basket for the Ben and Jerry's. Oh. Full of sweets. You're like, well, oh, hang on a minute. Like, Sandra, you just said that you were trying to push your health. You've got, you've got a banana and you've got four tubs of Ben and Jerry's. Mm. And that doesn't doesn't it's quite like, add up, does it? It's like a bottle of wine. If you get a big bottle of wine, you're not just going to realistically have a glass. Well, are you? but you can enjoy it with moderation. But you, you see, you see, it's, it's two holding two opposing. Yes, yeah? I do. I Makes sense. That. Was that a bit one. more interesting? That was than more Dunning? interesting okay. than the doing and whatever. Some you cost fallacy. I've talked about this a lot. Uh, this is this is, so the more time, effort, resources, money you spend on something, the the first podcast, for example, the the harder it is to give up. Oh yes, yes. Mm. So let's hope let's hope we don't get to, get to the point on this where it's like Ben, you know, a lot of money was spent on this. But let's hope we don't. <laughs> let's hope, yeah. So but we, so there's going to have to be a lot of effort to put into it. But let's hope we don't get to that point where it's like Ben, you know, you, you're flogging a dead horse. <laughs> Oh. Does this film feel oh. like you're flogging a dead oh. horse? Oh, that's very, very clever. Welcome to Push. What are we? Film floggers. <laughs> <it. laughs> I thought it was clever. It is clever. It, it, I'm, I'm still the best indie indie film podcast out there. Mm. I just don't think it's so, very likable. Sunk cost, cost fallacy. So, yeah, sun so let's, fallacy. let's hope we don't get to this point with this, where it's like, Ben, all the clients have gone. No one wants their fucking health pushed anymore. You, you need to move on. I know you spent about 50 grand on this, but you, you need to do something else. Mm. Let's, let's hope we don't get to that point. Yes. But yes, so. Well, on that good positive note. But that links to everything. You know, diet, yeah, relationships, everything. Just forget about the time and the resource. It's hard. If you've spent some, you know, people go to university, they, they do stuff for three years or four years or whatever. And they, they go into a, a job they they, can't, they, they detest. Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh, yeah, but I've spent, I've gone to uni, I've done this. I've, I've got this relationship. Oh, we've been together for like six years. You know, I can't, can't just sack it off. You know, come all the time and effort and resource and money you've put into it. Some cost fallacy. Mm. Maybe it's time just to give it up. Maybe. Ec- no exercise, bad diet. You know, you've 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 put on weight. You've done this. You've done that. It's like, oh yeah, no, but this is just me now. It's just this part of my character. Push my head. You know, I, I, I don't want to push my off from the pause of life. <laughs> well, yeah, some cost fallacy. Uh-huh. Anything more there, Ben? I feel like there is. A you cannot more. Okay. overestimate the unimportance of practically everything. Did you get that? It's 10 o'clock. Yes, I know. Yeah, but that was my belly. <laughs> you cannot overestimate the unimportance of practically everything. 
You can nush. Overestimate the unimportance of practically everything. Uh huh. Good. Yeah. Very good. It's true. No. Mm-hmm. Yes. You can't. Very true. Last one. Oh. Living well means spending more time on things that matter. Living poorly means spending more time on things that don't matter. Very Wisdom good. Wisdom is knowing the difference. I really like that one. Can you say that one again? The I, I thought on the last episode that the whole present thing that was that was rough. I, I haven't listened back to that yet, but I, just saying right, it just out read loud. That one out, please. It, it, it's the the longer they are, the harder it is. It's like going back to school. You know when there's someone goes right, You're Ben. Reading out loud. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's rough. Yeah, read rough. that one again because that's actually a good one. Living well means spending more time on things that matter. Living poorly means spending more time on things that don't matter. Wisdom is knowing the difference. I think you should put that up as an inspirational quote right. on your Instagram. Oh, I, I'm, I'll be starting to do that soon. Yes, yeah. I think that's yes. a very good one. Very, very good one. Yes. Because that that goes into what I was saying earlier. is about I was moaning about doing the 10,000 steps per day, but now that I'm doing them and I see the health benefits of it, I was like, I'm going to do them, aren't I? And I'm going to push myself harder to do more because then I might feel better. And my sleep scores at 90 most nights. Oh, we, we'll get into that as well. The, yeah. the the whoops and the fitness trackers and the, the sleep score. Yeah, we'll get into that. That's quite yeah. an interesting topic. Nice. To, sleep score is oh, to, really sh- improved. Oh, shit. We should have got into that this episode, the psychology. Well, I know we talked about dieting, the psychology of dieting. Yes, and stuff, that's but all. We should have got into that because that links in with the exercise. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. Yeah, the, you know, the physiological side of it all. Yeah, yeah but that's that's all we've got time for today. Well, folks. okay, another hour, eh? Well, why not, will it? Oh, why not? Absolutely not. Christ am I. Right, on that note, everyone, thank you very well, much. I think there's some good stuff in there. Yep. Uh, CTA, uh, pushing out from the pools of life. Uh, come if, if you live in, in Kent, if you live in the area. Uh, come, come. Get in contact. There's the link. Cake, book it in. Let's have a chat. You might even see me in the gym working out with you. You won't. That's she, fun. You won't. Uh, if it's online, the app will be coming what out. I'm fun. Uh, no. In the gym. The app, the app's coming out. The, the, the lot's on there. So if you want to give that a go, you know, I'll be offering Cooper. some two week, two week trials of some kind. So that that will start to get rolled out. I want people on it. I want people to try it out and see see if they can get their mouth pushed. Have some virtual cake. It's, it's all LinkedIn. It's all there. Okay. So just click the link. Get in contact. Uh, I'm there. TikTok. Oh, I'm on TikTok. Bloody hell. Lots of kids on TikTok. <sighs> Rough. Mm. Instagram, Facebook. I'm there. I'm on Twitter. We're all there. We're all bloody there, Fiona. Yep. Well, on that note, goodbye now and thank you. Shalom, laugh like a scary mother. Adios, a long one. auf Wiedersehen. Goodbye. Konnichiwa. Oh, yeah. Push her out. How else do you say goodbye? Push her out from the balls of life. Order. See you next time. That's enough. How do you that, say goodbye that... in French? Oh,